Tom and Dan to tell you about our friends over at Streamline Mortgage Solutions. Yep. I love these people. Yep. I refinance with them. Daniel refinanced twice. Multiple times. Yeah. And Brian Zimel and his team are the best in the business and yes. they will take care of you personally. I'm telling you, if you're looking to buy a house, you have to use Streamline for your mortgage because it'll get done and it'll get done right. Yeah. And that's what uh, Barton Crystal. It could be the reason you get the home. Yes. Because it has to be quick and it has to be organized. Yes, and Streamline makes it easy, and they do it right every single time. Brian and his team are unbelievable. I got an email from BDM Andy. It is, <clears throat> He says, I've used many of your sponsors, but Streamline has by far been the best. Uh, I've used other mortgage companies in the past, but expected a, and expected a painful process with Streamline, but I got it completely different. Uh, Brian and his team were fantastic. It was one of the easiest transactions I've been involved in. The hype is real, and yeah, that's from the hype is real. Yeah. And you, hey, if you have a streamlined story, we'd like to hear it. Show at tomanddan.com, and that goes for any of our clients because guess what? We love to hear from you guys about how it's working, and they love to hear from us about how it's working. Yes, and just call them about refinancing because I'm telling you, the rates are low. This could be the best decision to save you money. They'll do it all over the phone anywhere in Florida. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> That's a really bad. We're open, baby. Streamlineflorida.com. Welcome back to Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Samantha Butler here, Fish here. And we have a very special guest on the line. Now, I didn't want to bring this up, but the last time we had this gentleman on, I feel like we did a lot of damage and hurt his feelings. Yeah, yeah. I thought he would never be back. I thought he wouldn't either. In fact, when I saw his uh, name on the schedule, I was pleasantly surprised and happy that we had not done any irreputable damage to this gentleman and his, you know, opinion of us and wanting to, you know, be on the show and have his his bit. Now, a few of your other bits have fallen, fallen to the wayside, especially as of 2021. Yep. No more business, baby. No more business, bro. Mm. Where are we at with tell me why that bit? Did you get rid of that bit? Tell me why. Well, it's that wasn't kind of in there. Still kind of in there. I'm sure who else uh, stopped? Doing Remy. We the... haven't talked to him in a long no, time, and he's very upset. Him. He sends me a new update every single day. Well, uh, we, uh, you know, I want to talk to Remy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, then we'll get him on. Get him on the show. We'll, uh, then yeah. I'll have Sam We'll talk him. to him every day. Oh, God. But Remy, joining, every day, call in. But joining Email us. Email Sam. He doesn't jo- actually listen to the show, so he'll <laughs> oh, yeah, He yeah, doesn't. Yeah. He, well, he's too busy doing his show. Oh, right. this is the one, though, he listens on the radio, though. Not yeah. to our show. He listens to all the other yeah, shows yeah, on the yeah, station. Yeah, right. <laughs> big monsters. He tunes out by 7 p.m. Big Monsters and Jim Colbert guy. He really is. He I know. He goes to their events. He's never been to one of our events. Joining us is a gentleman, and he'll be honest of whether or not we hurt his feelings last time. I don't think so. Looking at what I'm looking at here. for me. playing into the bit. ACT Trivia, it is our good friend, Drew. How you doing, man? I'm good. How y'all doing? Pretty good. Now, Drew, I see that you got a wig on, and that may not be a wig. Uh, you, don't you don't say that. You don't say that now. And you got some sort of costume on, which is uh, very irritating. <laughs> Tom to me. loves costumes. <laughs> oh. Hold I, on, should I go put a costume on? I thought you Do were going. I thought you were going to be more uh, disheartened and yeah. more like down on yourself about you know last time and your performance well, if you'll remember last time he did a, a bit of a corporate time with tom and dan trivia and he had the suit on mm-hmm. he had he took like it very a serious game yeah, yeah. show backdrop yeah. the whole thing and then, he had way more questions than we yeah. ever got through he like had, it was hours of more yeah, work it was just like he had put this whole thing together so we started doing a little bit of it and then it just kind of just it didn't catch we couldn't get any traction with it and it kind of fell apart and we could tell by <laughs> by like looking into your eyes that yeah. there was it a, didn't go as it didn't, you had planned. It didn't go as you had planned, and now I see that you're trying to. I, I now maybe I'm just reading this wrong, but it seems as if you're, you're trying harder now. <laughs> I, is he? Because I think he's doing what we do, which oh, is to not up? try at all. Yeah, but he put on a wig, right. so that tells yeah. me he was you're like you. You well, ever ma- seen me put on a wig? An intro <laughs> song, but so. maybe he I got did. real mad that I took my boxers out of my leg holes yesterday. <laughs> 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 I, I'm, uh, I'm not joking. I thought about it in the shower. I was like, "You idiot! Why'd you do that?" If and, you haven't been to our TikTok yet, go find Tom is convinced that there's yeah. this "Take Your Panties Off Under Your Shorts" teen challenge that's sweeping the nation. Mm-hmm. By the way, it's not a thing. You're the only person on TikTok yeah. doing it. And then, I got, then I got, I was, I was like, "What if Brian's I'm." 
MLC since I'm yeah. like, yeah, well, I I'm sent it to him. <laughs> he's like, like, it's really cool, bro. But I'm like, he's not on uh, the TikTok, oh, so he'll he's never see it. <laughs> like, just, you know, but then I was like, oh, the other people, they're going to see that. They'll be like, I'm not, this guy's an <laughs> I idiot. I can't support this guy. Yeah, yeah, like, what is he doing? Steve from stupid. Porky's is shaking his head yeah, out yeah. by the smoker. And... The, yeah, then I started, I was like, no other grown men that I know of uh, to take their boxers out of the leg, like, from the leg holes. Like, that's stupid. I'm the only grown man. And here's a fun fact. I'm Tom Van. I'm the only grown man that'll take his boxers out of his leg hole. But then I thought, oh, you're overthinking it. Who cares? <laughs> Nobody cares. Like, and, they do care. I care. And the, I care. I wish you hadn't done it. You know the thing that The I public like? perception is that you're a clown it's, idiot anyway, no, so it fits the you mold. You know what, what really hurt me? And people commented on this on our TikTok. What I didn't like was... The, you could look at comments on there? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You're so, I did not know that. Here's the thing that's bad. You're so stiff. That you fall down, and yeah, that's, the, that's, that's the slow part. fall down. That's the the slow he goes fall to down. touch or to hold onto yeah. the table, but the table's super low, yeah. and then it's like, a slow. You're like two old knee. men getting into a pushing fight at a voting yeah. precinct. <laughs> it's like it's it's bad. fall down. Oh, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, um, but Drew, there's one. There's only two things I know. And the two things I do know are the things that you love, and one of them is wigs, and the other is theme songs. And Drew <laughs> brought along a theme song as well oh, God, he made to, his make own. The, to make the wig better. He brought a theme song for you, Tom. Here it is. Here is his uh, Drew's ACT theme song. Little game show, little question asking. If you know the answer, then you got the buzz in. Yeah, you talked about it last week and you can't remember it. Now that's weak. BDMs love me. Some of them hate me. And Tom and Dan wanna break me. I'm going all out. Hear what I'm saying? I try too hard. That's why I'm failing. Look at me now. Look at me now. Yep. Yeah. I'm asking questions. Look at me now. Oh, look at me now. Can you get it right on A, C, T, T, Trivia? We going all out. How long does this go, Drew? That's it. Okay, that's it? Okay. That's it. I'm asking questions. Yeah, <laughs> that's like what we're I'm asking questions. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. That <laughs> 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 we'll never play that again. <laughs> that you could have to do with it because <laughs> I have to do what? I'm gonna do like uh, something's you're gonna have to happen. Out, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're freaking out. Um, I'll explain why it's the worst. First, I the whole time, <laughs> Drew, it's I not felt good. how hard you tried, which is again <laughs> what we don't like. Uh, yeah. you know, and I was also simultaneously mad about how bad the audio was. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I was mad that you. Tried Tried yeah. too hard and it was bad. What'd you record that on? Uh, just my iPhone. Mm. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. the water again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's this happening? guy can't keep the water in his but mouth. I, but the, I, the ice keeps the water from no. splashing, <laughs> no, but then you hear it. No, it only does <laughs> that in urinals. <laughs> in fancy urinals, they put the ice in there to keep your pee pee uh, from splashing. So, Drew, um, explain to me why you're wearing the wig and then you got an acoustic guitar on <laughs> the side. Uh, is it the is there your trivia theme today? <laughs> I hope he sings uh, no, all the I was questions. I trying to take direction from you guys. You said I, I cared too much and I was trying to watch something. You I'm look like that guy that got in trouble for saying the N word, the country singer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Morgan just Wallen. Like, who is that guy? Morgan Wallen. Morgan right? Wallen. You look like just like Morgan Wallen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, look up Morgan Wallen. Yeah. They Hold on. look identical. You. You do that. You did this because we got upset. You tried too hard, so you're trying harder. Try less, <laughs> like a, he said. The, the less wouldn't be putting. Less would be. I uh, agree. Would be just wearing a T-shirt and going back to Drew uh, on the weekends, which I imagine is just a regular. Look at that. Look uh -oh. at Morgan Wallen. Uh oh. <laughs> Right, it's a pa pasty. It looks just like him. Yeah, yeah. Why am Drew I... is a little more tan. Look yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's uh, that's Morgan Wallen's brother from Florida, Drew. Drew we better get into this. Or okay, we're never sorry. gonna get into it. Drew, you're gonna have to enjoy your last 15 minutes of being on our show <laughs> ever. <laughs> but, uh, uh, all right, hey, let's do it. Um, hey, so uh, I didn't tell you, but there actually will be a, a prize given to the winner of this trivia challenge, and it goes on as long as you'll have me. So if this is the last one, we could have the winner uh, after today. Oh my God. Um, so uh, right now the leaderboard, we have two people tied for second place. That's Dan with one and Tom with one. And then in first place, we have Sam with yeah. two points. Yeah. yeah. And she's tied with the BDMs yeah. who have two points too. Now, do we want to add a BDM caller in for the, the trivia? No, no. 
Um, we could add Travis just to see how little he in? knows about the show. Okay. That's Travis. always good. <laughs> yeah. Butler, Butler, get in here. Yeah. Butler, get in here. Um, I don't know if he can. Yeah. He might be in the bathroom uh, also, uh, putting deodorant under his boobs. I didn't know that there was... Drew, have you seen the picture of <laughs> Travis? Uh, <laughs> have you seen the picture of Travis is so relaxed his boobs grew? <laughs> <laughs> There's also... They zoomed in in your face and it's... Uh, it was a little puffy. I don't know. Like, I, oh, I didn't say that. Something. I'm sticking boobs mm-hmm. only. I did I, not go puffy. I think at the Sandals Resort, there's a lot of sodium they put in the <laughs> resort food. <laughs> Something, right? I, I, they, they, they pump you full of sodium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they it's want just, you at the yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, <laughs> they want you at the bar. Puffy. Keep eating mm-hmm. those nuts. Um, so, all right, Drew, what's the prize? Um, I'm actually making a custom-made trophy for the winner. It's a BDM trophy, but the M is going to stand for memory. Uh, but it's uh, it's a surprise of what it looks like. But let's just say it's going to look really nice next to pig teeth. I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, neither I don't, does Daniel. And yeah, for I sure, if he wanted, he punted in the trash well, before you, know, you could no, even leave I, the studio. I've, I've tried to bail out of this bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried to get out of this. I've seen Daniel punt things in the trash oh, that are actually I, valuable. I punt things in the trash yeah. that I like. He'll, my daughter will hand me like a drawing and be like, it's my best work. I'll be like, right in the trash. <laughs> and he loves it. He's yeah, yeah. quite I'm, enjoying I'm, like, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting rid of this because neither one of us want it. I've seen him punt something in the trash that a listener made. <laughs> and then it yeah. took a long time. Oh, yeah. And I even felt bad. Paintings, wood burnings, carvings, handmade good. candles, any type of baked goods you send me, he Mima's, feel- homemade mango salsa, all of it. Garbage. He will feel no remorse. No. no. Like, get pleasure out of it. Yeah, yeah. Any of the dolls that Tracy's mom made me, all of that stuff. I blighted on fire before I throw in the trash, too. Because I don't want other people using it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rule I have. Yeah, even it's if a- he knows other BDMs might get some no, sort of no, enjoyment no, no, no. or punting. All ashes. Yeah. All ashes. All right. So. So you, uh, you're going to have to work on that prize, Drew, because uh, it needs to be something. What about that acoustic Tracy guitar? Tracy thinks I'm serious. <laughs> Give me your guitar. Tra- Tracy right. thinks I'm serious. The more embarrassing fact is I still sleep with the stuffed pig your mom made me. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Why don't you try? It's not. It's not. Because um, uh, my uh, my mother-in-law oh, gave... Oh, she got there before I did. She says you still sleep with those dolls. I mean, you must talk to my wife. My mother-in-law gave us an acoustic guitar that she uh, like has held on to since from the 70s. And like it's, oh and my god! It's apparently there's a lot of hippie jack. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and yeah. then Tommy, he's been playing it every day, but he can't. And like I, I got a tuner app uh, on mm-hmm. my phone, and I just tuned it up for him. That and works. He, he strums it, but for whatever reason, he wants to sit there and play great. the acoustic guitar. And uh, and me and Max were outside playing baseball. Oh. <laughs> there was a couple of them strumming, and yeah. then we oh, should, yeah. we all he'll weird. be putting those. Uh, he'll be putting up Sepultura <laughs> posters and stuff. <laughs> And they're hammering on his craft every day. You guys, come out, come out in the sunshine. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. DSI just put out a new album. I'm really into it. Um, Heavy as hell. Hide my guns. <laughs> Drew, we're doing the show to avoid you. <laughs> <laughs> Making horrible jokes. <laughs> anyway, all right, Drew, what do we start with? All right. Our first category is please pull around. On Thursday's episode titled, Take My Trash, Dan shared that he had a dilemma in finding a place to throw away his old Vespa batteries. Where did Tom suggest he should take them? God. Anybody? Anybody? Um, you know, when we don't remember the <laughs> I do remember. I remember the, the conversation. I just yell at There's a hint in the category name. It's please pull around. Batteries plus. Tom, oh, what are you? What are you singing? McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's is correct. Oh, yeah. oh God, I got a point. You got a lead on you, y'all. Is this? Oh my! I said McDonald's trash can out front. Yeah, yeah, with the we're all the That is true. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. I remember. That's a good joke. You know what? You got <laughs> That's a quality you joke. You got me back, Andrew. These <laughs> trivia shows on radio are, are my, still my favorite thing. <laughs> They're still my favorite. Never gets old. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where all the uh, like uh, the listeners who when don't... I get in my car and I have somewhere to be, I'm like, 
I know it'll kill the time. Yeah. Trivia show. Yeah. Especially mm. when it's super hard for us and easy for the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> they <won't laughs> act because they all remember what we talked about. It was we only don't. last week. Yeah. But but we because we uh, so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, they, we forget. So everybody knows it and is screaming at us like uh, this is easy. Anyway. Next or you question. could be just like what I do when I'm listening to these and I just drive in silence. I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, as soon as they're done with this, maybe they'll talk about something. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Sorry. All right, next question. The category is Smell You Later. On Friday's episode titled Hot Mike, you interviewed Canadian Josh. During your chat with uh, about Bubba the Love Sponge, Sam recalled a past memory about another studio. How did Sam describe her visit to real radio? It smelled like pee-pee. Oh, oh, hold on. Anybody is, can get that one. Yeah, yeah. And yo, hold on. Sam <laughs> has the advantage. You're too, tailoring she, these questions to somebody who actually listens to the show. Well, well, I have to take job. notes. Yeah, but she, <laughs> she yes, gets paid to do she's that. taking notes. Yeah. Uh, ask I'm me not about, looking at the notes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about making fun of Butler. I remember yeah, all yeah. those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ask, me, ask I remember me how the... big Butler's boobs are. I can nail that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two regular sized bees. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mike bees. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Mike bees. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pull that later. I'm sorry. Don't uh, beat me up. Uh, <laughs> Mark the time down, Sam. 14 minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, okay. Next one, Drew. I, Drew, if you will eat your wig right now, <laughs> I'll give you a prize. <laughs> Hmm. All right, ready for the next question. Uh, this one, uh, Tom, this one's about you, so we can't be uh, making excuses. Mm. Category, don't forget to call. On Wednesday's episode titled Video Man, everyone ganged up on Tom about his cell phone usage due to his high volume of emails, failure to respond to texts, and just overall poor memory. Sam looked up the best cell phone for seniors and suggested Tom should buy it. What was that cell phone? I know it wasn't the jitterbug, but it was something else. Can't remember the name of it. Old pop pop phone. Bees. <laughs> <laughs> this had nothing to do with Travis's bees. <laughs> <laughs> it was just all I care about now. <laughs> I know all of it <laughs> <laughs> because it's there's no way for. <laughs> Here's a hint. It's not a blackberry. <laughs> he can't get rid of his brownberry. It's <laughs> 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 close. Uh, oh. I got nothing. Yeah. God. <laughs> I, I remember us talking about it, but it's all these details. It's too hard to remember. Okay, Drew, what was it? It was the Raz memory phone. Oh, Raz memory phone. Uh, did they, did Why didn't they just call it a raspberry? Yeah, 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 Instead of the Raz memory. Um, All right, give me, give us another one. I'm warming up now. <laughs> All right, here we go. The category is that's a good chat. On Monday's episode titled Pepe Le Pews, you were talking with lads from Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Hold on. <laughs> Pepe Le Pews. <laughs> that's what Casey did. Casey named the show Pepe Le Pews. Casey <laughs> pizza party for Casey. Uh, right? I don't even know. I like I don't I don't even see the names of these shows. So I, <laughs> this is the first time I'm hearing. Them. I don't even know who Casey is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, talking, I pay him last week. And I'm talking to him. We no, have, I didn't. We have, Did a, sh- oh we have a show called Pepe Le Pews. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> and our boss's name is Casey. <laughs> oh. So uh, you were talking with the lads from Scotts for Dummies uh, about using Discord. How did Tom describe the Tom and Dan Discord? Oh, no, it's unfortunate. <laughs> Dry red D's? Scaly. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, red uh, swollen. Yeah, yeah. There's red, <laughs> red, red, irritated, red, irritated, red irritated, irritated D's. D's. Red and irritated is no, no, Tom I said irritated. No, I said irritated I first. said irritated first. Roll the tape back, and I'm the only one that knows. <laughs> that. <laughs> and he said red and irritated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it's all red. Mm. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I said red. And he, you know what? It's path of least resistance at this point. It's just hands up. Yeah. Uh, My eye right. hurts really bad. All right. Give us another one, Drew. All right. The next one's category is Here's Your Sign. On last week's Friday free show titled TD Friday, <laughs> Seth revealed that his grandpa that he grew up with was actually not his blood relative. He went on to say that his true grandpa's last name was D. Regario. Shortly after, BDM Brock typed in the chat room that Di Rigario was an Italian phrase meaning what? The tumor. The, the tumor is correct. Oh, yeah. 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 
I got one. I'm well, on that's a little unfair because Daniel looks at the chat room. But, you know, I refuse to look at those people. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> thought it was the is Seth gonna be all right? I worry about him. No, of course not. <laughs> you know, I, I am. He's been punched in the head ten thousand times, yeah. and he's obviously got a serious. Wait a second mental here. Illness, Are your huh? sunglasses a vape pen? <laughs> what? Are your sunglasses a vape pen? These? Is that yeah. what I just saw? Okay. Fair enough. Hold I, on. I think this whole <laughs> thing. Okay. I figured out what this is now. Uh, this is not a bit. Okay. This is a troll. Yeah. And no. yeah, and he's just, he just comes in on the show and wastes he, our time to see how he wants to see how long we're gonna do it, and based on that, mm. you're gonna have to do this forever. <laughs> oh, we're gonna make it never stop it now. <laughs> I figured you out every day, Monday oh, through Friday. Yeah, Monday through Friday, <laughs> we need 25 questions yeah. a day. Yeah, Drew, you better get on it. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll just start. Yeah. yeah, because you notice he's more concerned about the vape pen being taped to his sunglasses <laughs> than it is about the questions. You see, I am figuring out well. how big it could plume. I'm figuring. Yeah. Is that taped to your sunglasses? Yes, it is. <laughs> no, no. I, I wanted to buy the vapor shades, but they're too expensive, so I bought the uh, off-brand one. These are called Smoke Lease. See, he's, he's doing it. He's, he's doing, doing it. it. And he uses Hold on, is vapor vape. shades actually have a vape pen? No, no Tom. He's doing oh, a whole stand up. It's a bar. He's trying to tell you. Oh, God. Pop, pop, got it. Got and, he, <laughs> and he's not believing me. He's like, well, why are you, li- why are you being mean to Drew? Leave Drew alone. <laughs> he tricked me. I'm going to give me some of those. He's a I'm going to give me some of those vapor shades. He tricked me into giving my account information. No, man. He just ordered a pair of smoke leads. <laughs> smoke leads. I actually, for one second, thought that vapor shades had a vape pen attached to them. I, I never looked God at them. No. <laughs> but I was like, what is a total sponsor? I was like, well, maybe. Right, <laughs> like, right. That's the thing, yeah. It yeah. wasn't like, a, like Jim Phillips' old sponsor. I mean, I'll play hey, if Dog the Bounty Hunter can have the earbuds on his, then yeah, 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 you know, yeah. the future is the vape pen on the end. Yeah, we yeah. had bottle opener sunglasses. Well, yeah, there's yeah, bottle true. opener sandals. All right, Drew, you got any other hidden gems? Gems in there, a little more vape pens hidden on your body, or a little. Uh, oh, that was my last, uh, my last prop. Trip. But measure. I have one last question, <laughs> and uh, this question is actually going to be offered up to both uh, Tom and Dan because they're in uh, last place, so they both have two points. Uh, so you can uh, go for the it's a truth or dare question. So you can go for the truth question and get one point, Ooh. or you can go for the dare and get two. Ooh. I'll go dare. Yeah, me too. Dare. Ooh, double dare. All right. Uh, so the dare is you have to do a rap freestyle about your true opinions when it comes to my show. And since you both said dare, your I think show. you guys can do it together. Oh, okay. we're just going to trade bars? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drew is racist. Racist as hell. <laughs> 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 Go on his Facebook and find where he works. Cancel Drew. Yeah, yeah. Uh, call his boss and tell him what he do. Yeah, yeah During yeah. our show with his racist rhetoric, he sent me an email. I'll send it back to you. Yeah. It's got a thousand reasons why. You should believe Q. Um, uh, I'll go on his Facebook and tell his dad he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really a free stomach. <laughs> you know. Drew should be at work today. I'll go to his Facebook and tell his dad he's gay. Two points. <laughs> yeah, okay. Give me my that points. Two points. Uh, All right. <sighs> All right, Drew. You got anything to plug? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I really don't. No. Uh, He's well, bored. Yeah. Yeah. How bored? Are you? Like, do you have a job, Drew? Yeah, I have a job. What is it? He wouldn't tell us last time. Oh yeah, yeah that's he right. Can't. Yeah, he can't. Can't. yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He works for a certain yeah. company that would. Are you a radio intern? This, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 All, the only person there are people I know who try this hard are radio interns, right? Because they want to be famous. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I get. Uh, yeah, I do get the vibe of a radio intern with Drew. Yeah. Like Drew. True it, story. I, I did do a radio internship in college because yeah. I, I went to school for radio is. and television. So I worked for uh, MS Radio in St. Louis, but that was just an internship. That's all I ever did. Yeah, but I but can, I can smell a radio it, intern. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you've been a radio <laughs> intern, call, I know Tom. it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, he knows. He's a good read of people, which what yeah, yeah. makes him so naturally good. I believe in business is that time. If I'm being serious, like you can look at Drew and tell that he's just itching to smoke a joint <laughs> filled with his own pubes. <laughs> <laughs> because he'll do anything. He's yeah. down for anything, and yeah. he wants it. He's starving for it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he just. I mean, look at this guy's willing to take a chance of getting fired and wear a wig at home. <laughs> 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 he's 
He's <laughs> taping vape pins to his sunglasses. Yeah, He's yeah. willing to do anything. Yeah, yeah. Some this will leak out to somewhere. Yeah. And oh, someone yeah. at uh, Ikea or wherever you work is <laughs> like, I saw you on that thing. <laughs> uh, we're going to need to talk to you a little bit. Uh, Ingvard's very unhappy with your job performance. All right, Drew. Um, or you got nothing to plug? Any sort of uh, social media? Uh, you know, throw out your Facebook. So... You know what could happen. <laughs> uh, no, I just uh, want to say thanks for having me on again. Uh, Sam, you're awesome for responding on my emails and get me back on. I hope I get to come back on again. Oh, you'll and I'm going to drink a little champagne for my second successful successful show. No, no, no. I, 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 I had to. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, just a, you it, cut him right off. It was huh? just a reaction. It first of all, white, I also love that he's calling it his show. <laughs> yeah, but white monster energy. Yeah, yeah and he had a rock star. That's why. That that's count. why I hung up on yeah. him. He he besmirched the name he of white monster, which is Titusville Champagne. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he held up a rock star energy. He should know that he does a trivia. Yeah, he, he messed up, and he that's why up. I hung up on him. I felt like that's just. A blatant insult. Yeah, that was disrespectful. Mm, yeah, yeah. And uh, and I feel like he's putting on the fact that he's not nervous at all and he's super confident, but inside, oh, he's nervous. Dying. Oh. <laughs> like like right attack. now, I feel like he's holding his wig, he's puking in it. <laughs> oh, I hope that went well. Did that go well? Do they like me? Do they, do they think they like? And I hope his girlfriend's like, "Are you done? Can I come out of the bathroom? Are you done? <laughs> Are you done with the thing?" I was in here. I was trying to keep my candy crush down. I, I, are you done with your vlog? <laughs> are you done with your hashtagging? What are you doing? Are you TikToking again? Oh, God. You have your Morgan Wallen wig on? <laughs> oh, my God. You puked in it. Gross. It's disgusting. My God. Um, I want to get a Blaze pizza. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> they'll be back. <laughs> I think, right? I mean, he has to be back, right? He yeah, definitely yeah. wants to be back. Yeah. I don't want him back, though, unless we no, can get him it's back. It's horrible. Well, yeah. You guys make the call. I'm, I'm going to say on this one, the only way we can get him back is if he, um, like, I, he's got to be, he's got to come here mm-hmm. in person mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. stand outside the door and do my original bit where he does. His show or his segment uh, from outside of our door. I'll run the microphone and put a chair out there for him, and he has to sit outside the <laughs> studio and do it. Uh, we're getting real close to uh, '90s radio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, 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 no, that's what I know. That's what you want. <laughs> yeah, no. I'll start. Yeah, yeah. I'm your Huckleberry. Uh, that'll come back, right? Because it's already back. Is it back, Logan Paul? Oh yeah. This is your theory from yesterday. Yeah, 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 unless yeah, you're I, right. Yeah, it is. You forgot your own theory. It mm-hmm. is. It's all the same. And man, we can make some money. Yeah, have you that seen the. We know now. Here, here's right the here. reason that I fell face first into your theory yesterday when I was I went and I was looking at Jake Paul and I saw. Have you seen the the fake belt he no. has? Oh, yeah. Okay. He's doing yeah, all and that. And I'm like, oh my God, it's happening. Like, he's got the fake belt because in what Echo is calling in my mind out is everybody. You said yeah, it's, yeah. it's wrestling. And I'm like, yes, it is. But it's just a little more. Um, Trashy, like nineties yeah, I mean, radio. They're, like wrestling, these those guys are getting hurt, but they know what they're doing. Yes, yeah, and yeah. so do these guys. Yeah, and but it's less organized. Correct. As far as like the the professional wrestling, there's more professionality to it, and there's like they know where they're going. I feel like this is nineties radio. They know where they're going to end, but all the middle is just improv, yeah. and they're really taking punches to the face. And all you know, um, I think you're right. Although I, I, there's people that are still holding on that, like I getting emails saying like, oh well, uh, I, I read an interview with Ben Askren or whatever that uh, he wanted to keep fighting and the ref called it and it wasn't. Uh, but I was like, could still be possibly true, but that guy wasn't going in there no, taking they, anything they, seriously. Yeah, yeah, that's what, he just walked in there and just got punched as hard as he could in the face, yeah. and then where it looked like, yes. That punch could hurt someone. Uh, I and believe then, that too. And then he was like, "All right, you know." And apparently, that guy's into wrestling too. Like he has an amateur wrestling well, business. There you go. Yeah, exactly. It stinks. There you uh, go. Yeah. Nineties, uh, crazy. Anyway, bye bye. I forget whether this is coming back or starting. I'm sorry. That's fine. I so I'm just gonna do it. Back. I'm just doing it like this. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna do it like this. Welcome back. Um, mm. want to pour? Yep. All right, let's do it. I'm really hungry. I think I want me a big old steak. 
I'm really hungry. I want some chicken or maybe some chocolate cake. I need to walk to Publix and get myself a sandwich or an unfortunate me. What food delight will I eat and make me happy and squeal? We love porky, yeah! Who's porky? Oh. <laughs> oh my god! That was the worst! Oh, I had to turn off the sound effect. That's not good for what was porkies. That? I, uh, and I sang a cute little song! That was a pretty good song. I, had a, you, I, I, I wrote uh, just a cute little, it was just a cute little song about chocolate cake, <laughs> and you happening barf, to you're me. Barfing. Dude, I don't know you what the hell. I know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, we got real talk. Me and you got a caffeine problem. Maybe don't say, don't talk about it. We got a caffeine problem. <laughs> uh-huh. My wife sat me down yesterday. I'm mixing I drank mine with three, water. It doesn't matter. You're drinking 28 waters <laughs> uh-huh. with caffeine in it. It's the same thing. You're, yeah, you're yeah. tricking yourself. I know. I drank three Rise Energy yesterday. And I had that's wait too a minute. Much. That's too and much. I had a I had a small. I got off the Peloton. I rode for a full hour. Oh man! I did a full hour of thinking and yeah. sweating. And I got off of that thing. I got the chills. I laid down. Thought I had Corona. Well, I just did it overdone. <laughs> I just had a heart attack. I, I think I did have my first heart attack. Uh, that's a lot of milligrams. It's a lot of milligrams. And then I like to pair it with extreme exercise, extreme cardio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that seems good. If working the caffeine working out. The, out of my heart, right? Yeah. It's in my heart. I gotta get it out. So I run fast. Mm-hmm. And that thing is just, hey! <laughs> it's faster than it's ever been. <laughs> the mini but it's gun. tidy. The it's mini. <laughs> yeah, just one continuous beat. But I gotta, I really, so in all seriousness, I have to, I have I know, to I'm I pulling it. back. I gotta do it too. I'm gonna I, have to go like this. I'm gonna have to do voice. one Diet Mountain Dew. That's all I can have. And I'm gonna work that for a couple months. And then eventually I'm gonna pull back Oof. out of. Then I can pull out of the, the chemicals. Then I'm straight coffee. And then eventually I'll go like to uh, like a tiny little Cuban coffee. And then eventually you can do like the Yopon Brothers tea. And There's then caffeine I'm, in there. And then I'm like my wife. I'm like mm-hmm. I'm, she's just high on life. <laughs> she does no caffeine. My wife wakes up. She's no like, caffeine. There's nothing I love better in the morning than some tapid water. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, <laughs> ready to take on the day. No, no, yeah. no, no. You, you can't live hates like caffeine, that. Hates caffeine. No. Hates alcohol. <laughs> I hates need, I, what am I gonna do with that chemicals? I need them. She to hates live. all the chemicals. Remember when she was going to take half of a weed gummy on our Colorado trip? Oh, yeah, I said it. Well, those days are gone. <laughs> oh, man. Those days That's are gone. That's the best. It's not going to happen. She's not going to do it. Porky's barbecue. In a <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, these yeah. are the new. Right there in a popka. You guys know. You know. We're doing Porky's. These, we do these new Apopka. commercials where we'll start. <laughs> we're all going like, Dan here to tell you about Streamline Mortgage yeah. Solutions. I can't believe it. My wife's divorcing me. Can you believe it? <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, I knew she was going to do it, bro. And then I go. StreamlineFlorida.com. <laughs> it's like a new form of commercial okay, where yeah. it's you piggyback, you bookend yeah. the brand, and then inside of it you put some real juicy gossip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And nothing about the company. Nothing. I mean, what what I get to describe what barbecue is? You, yeah, you know, know what barbecue is. Well, who's going to be like, you didn't tell me what they offer? I <laughs> was driving to Parkies and you didn't say how mouthwatering it was. So I'm turning around. Uh, <laughs> it's there. Go go there. I go I, get it. I got here and my mouth was watering and you never said that was yeah. one of the things that would happen. Yeah. Go there, don't. How would I know? <laughs> like, I don't know. Porgies in a popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, you know, TLC has a new reality TV show where they are documenting the lives of five sets of sisters from all over the world, uh, and it's going to be called Extreme Sisters. Now, the weird thing about this one, it's, it's basically <laughs> like... got to be extreme? I know. I've seen this. Um, <laughs> one gets stuck under her bed. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. And then she's like, I can't get out of this class coffee table. And then the stepbrother's like... This one's a little uh, different. By the um, way, I can see you're not stuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're ruining it. Can you, Can the producers or the camera yeah. guy make it look like she's more stuck? Well, she'd have to be in some sort of writhing in pain. Yeah, yeah. But you're not stuck. Yeah, but they're just you're just bent over yeah, or just what underneath you the bed. It, what's under there anyway? <laughs> what are you trying to get? I don't know. Sorry, Porky's um, in a popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> one, <laughs> it's a, it's a, yeah. one of the sets of sisters are two twins from, or a set of twins from Australia, the Desinke sisters. They actually share like one I. boyfriend whom they split between the two of them, a 40-year-old mechanic named Ben Byrne, and they've all been dating each other since 2012. <laughs> oh. They're oh. identical <laughs> twin sisters. I'm an Australian mechanic with a massive Johnson. 
Right. So they're twin. Di- they're identical twin sisters, and they have been sharing the same boyfriend since 2012. Weird. It seems like that could cause a lot of problems, right? I would think so, too. Yeah. I mean, for him... It says they dress the same, they finish and repeat each other's sentences, and they share the same boyfriend, and they plan on getting impregnated by him at the exact same time, while eventually hoping to get married as a thruple one day. How do you do that? Because one of them's going to get the, you know, the butt. So... (laughs) (laughs) No, that's just science. (laughs) So, the... uh, So one of them, it's like like an execution. It's like somebody's got bullets in their gun, somebody doesn't. Two people. But we both think we killed the... It's an execution, right? It's you both think... It's two rifles, one bullet. I've seen that video. So, okay, think about this. All right, hold on. Let me wrap my head around. (laughs) You're crushing it, man. It's a little odd, right? So if you had... A baby, identical twin sisters are genetically identical, right? They, right. They, they, like yeah. biologically identical. Now their brains are different. Obviously, their mm-hmm. their personalities are different, but their bodies are ge- uh, genetically identi- identical. They have a baby with the same guy, and they could both have twins. Though those babies are genetically the same, no, uh, brother and sister. For the most part, no. And cousins. <laughs> and right? cousins. Yes. Legally cousins, genetically brother and sister. Genetically brother and sister. <laughs> Legally babies. Because it's they... One of the best sitcoms I mean, it would be TV. brother and sister and cousins have at this, the same time. But they have the same mom and dad, even though their mom's different, different person, but biologically the same. Right. So they would... Or as close to biologically the same as you can as have you can without possibly. having a clone. Right. Right? That's what I was right. trying to think of. It's like, there will be something, you know, even though genetically you're well, they a could, 99.9% match, right? I would think that... They could w- look different, obviously, right. because if you have... I mean, it would be the same if they had the baby with the same woman, just two different babies, mm-hmm. although you can't have it at the same time. But these yeah. babies, even if they were close, could be... Kind of like gen- genetically twins. Uh, I mean, I part. guess if they're enjoying themselves, and that's, I mean, it's cool. I mean, do your thing, right? I mean, whatever. It's not my thing. I'm not an Australian diesel mechanic. That <laughs> for the guy, I feel like he's kind of got the worst of this. Yeah, I think this would be difficult. You know, like, I think a lot of guys want to sit back and go, "Oh, two hot Australian girls." It's like I think this is really complicated and mixed up and weird, well, and it would be very hard to live. Normally, well, if you wanted to be with two different women and having two different wives, and we know people that uh, live in that kind of lifestyle, to me, the advantage and what's good about it is they're two different people, right? Like you get a little bit of yeah, like for instance, it's like a buffet. You get the Italian with the sushi. If if and chicken, if Crystal was like, let's bring another woman in, and then you could live as like two wives. Now we're talking. The boyfriend is actually a twin as well. So these people are going to have twins, right? Well, wait, where's his other twin? He's living his own life. And that guy's like, I got nothing. (laughs) Yeah, I don't want to be a part of it. And the guy's like, Come on, date my date the other lady I'm dating. See, I if I was going to have another wife in the fold. I would want it to be different than Crystal. Like, yeah, uh, you're saying this guy screwed like up. Like a the regular, fact that he boring could old two. whitey. I want a, a, a spicy Latina. Um, oh, I'm with you. Big butt. Yeah. That's what I like. <laughs> um, and then, so yes. at least so thick, I can get. Thick th- girl. You know, yeah, I want a thick girl. Because if I'm with two different women, I want the difference because the uh, yeah. what's good is the difference. Yeah, yeah. You say if you're with two different women, they look exactly the same. It's like, well, might as well be with one. Correct. It'd be like, and they're it, both crone. And this I mean. goes for everybody. It's like my wife has me, right? The next time she's going to want a big, tall, like these. She wants the mountain from or, Game of Thrones. Yeah, something different. Yeah, you want something different. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm with you. Yeah. Because if you had so, two that were even different, the third one you'd want to bring in something of variation, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This goes for any gender or sex partner. It's, uh, this guy's screwed because now he doesn't <laughs> have, I mean, he just got, he, yeah, he's with two women. They're both exactly the same. Who cares? And they're both going to be with different personalities. So you got to deal with that. I think I'm glad you talked me into thinking this is not a big deal. It uh, Also, do you think. And I've seen this in nope. m- movies. No. And I, it seems no. fake. Don't do it. Don't say it because it's not real. 
That's what I think. It can't be because no. you're disgusted by your uh, sibling. It's in your brain. You can't change yes. that. No, that's well. That's why. Like it, that's why in the movies that I see, it's always two girls that look like each other, but they're not except for twins. one. Except for one. There's one. Is there one real one? Ali Sin, world famous Florida mm-hmm. porn star who retired. Ali Sin. I believe she has a half sister named Astrid. That maybe it's because the half sister thing uh, gets rid of some of the uh, the, gen- yuck. the genetic disgustingness you would find. Uh, I don't know. Um, anyway, so what about the other sisters? The, uh, like what other sisters? Well, oh, from the show, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the show, Sister Sister? I haven't looked into the other sisters. The show starts this Sunday on TLC at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I might check it out. Um, if anything, just for this. This story. It would be an interesting uh, watch. I like to watch unique people. How does that work? Here's the thing, though, Sam, and tell me if you're like this. I do enjoy watching unique people live unique lives, right? Mm -hmm. And I try to watch it for the most part. Of course, we all watch, and then I think we all, we're humans, we all laugh or say, oh, I'm glad that's not me, blah, blah, blah. But when I think it's a put on and not real, then instantly I'm turned off because then I'm like, now you're a bad person. Says they all share the same bed. That can't be comfortable. Three people in the bed. I mean, big bed. You get a big yeah, bed. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I need have a little bed. I got to get a new bed. My uh, my bed's too little. It. They said it's not really weird to us. Uh, <laughs> we like all the same things. Do most thruples sleep in a three fur bed, or do most know. thruples live and give different nights, or do most thruples the person the stronger bond is who they lay with? Probably depends relationship to relationship. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. What's more That's a good question. Though? Yeah, yeah. I, I, What's protocol on that? You have to talk all that out. That's the weird part. This is why you could never do this, because you'd have to have all these conversations to see where and everybody's going to do it, and you hate these type of conversations. <laughs> yeah, but they could have the conversations, and I'll just go along with the whatever. Okay, whatever they yeah. want. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. I I'll go along with that. anything. But what if they can't come to a conclusion, and they want you to be the Tiebreaker. Yeah, you decide. And you're like, that's fine. Yeah, and they're like, who do you love yeah. more, Tom? Yeah, you, you, yeah. Well, that's a problem. Uh-huh. Like, now you're ruining it. I'll, 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 <laughs> that's an awesome game. I'll be like, this is all good. High five. You it ruin it. it. I won't ruin nothing. Uh, I'll be. I'll go along think, with whatever. Oh, Sam, but I figured something out here. We yeah. got a new game plan. Yeah, it says they all sleep together. Um, they all are in the same bed when they have sex together, which is odd to me. Wait, even well, when yeah, you don't. Okay, so then it's back to the video. I saw. Hold on. If the other person has corona or is a diarrhea, I mean, you know. This is my bedroom too. You know, you got to go sleep in the guest room. Corona and diarrhea—that's a weird. (laughs) I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how do you get past the fact that you're watching your sister. Have sex. Right. That's you gross. You just pretend it's you. That's why they're extreme sisters. Extreme. Yeah, but... Yeah, they're like the monster energy drink of sisters. Yeah, but anybody who has a sibling knows how gross that is. Is it different with twins? I don't think it, it is. It seems like there's some boundary issues here. Uh, they also still live with their mother. Um, oh, get her so in the on. mom's in there, too, in the yeah, mix. Yeah, what's she doing? <laughs> Even the, the, Are you guys still in there pumping? I the, put some cookies by the door. <laughs> the guy <laughs> lives there in the house? Yeah, he's a live-in ever... boyfriend, and okay. he lives there with well, the twins on. and their mother. Pause. Mm-hmm. Then, then what we've stumbled on, as y- you've unfolded this onion, these are just trash people, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 They yeah. seem like Australian trash people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Australian trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And somebody said something that I've never thought of before, but I think it might be accurate. Somebody in the chat room, it might have been Brock, said that Australia is the world's Florida. That is true. I agree with that. Yeah. I think I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just based on it just being said and it landing in my brain, I'm or, like, okay. Or we're, <laughs> we are the world's Australia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you okay. Can, yeah, you can look on. at it differently. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, can yeah. look at it differently. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, which I agree with both parts of it. They, when asked, how does one guy keep up with two girls in the bedroom, he Don't says... Don't give a stereotypical... Uh, it's hard to... Yeah. Put it this way, we're very active girls, and he needs twice the energy. So they're saying, uh, well, I he's got to get out of it. <laughs> they're lying. They're like, eh, we're just, we're, <sighs> our sex, we're just an insatiable thirst of sex. He says it's his first time with two girlfriends, and to be honest, it's very difficult because it has to be 100% even. That's impossible, right? Yeah, no relationship is 100% even. At least my therapist it said that. It was also weird that the uh, they're in there together. That's, all, that's, that's you the odd you, part. You don't need to do that. You're no. almost torturing yourself. But, well, if they obviously don't mind, and this is true, this could be BS, and they're just trash people saying this Well, then stuff. it would be the Jerry Springer scenario, which yes. means these are trash people. And they want Two of publicity. them are dating. The second one, not really dating. They get together. They write a story. 
They yes, put it on this yeah, dumb yeah. show, and yes. then we figured it all out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, the legitimacy of this could be in question it for It could sure, just be yeah. for attention, but uh, they've been together since, like, 2014. Right? Oh, no, 2012. Sorry, 2012. That's and and nowadays, time. you can go back on their social media and probably see that. Like, yeah. if that I mean, there's yeah. interviews with them um, from 2014. A lot of this now, I'm pulling from those. Because... Or is it like the couple that's into horse sex, too? <laughs> like, there's a lot of these people that just... You know, like when the internet started popping off, they're like, I know what'll make us famous. We'll just say we like having sex with horses. Mm. And they're like, and they're like, and I'm okay with it because I have no morals and I'm weird. You know, like. That's there on are, there. That's on there, though. There are people <laughs> yeah, 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 like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're oh, okay yeah. with like dedicating their life. But it's not real, is my point. They're just okay with saying it because in their it mind, gets them attention yeah. or whatever, it doesn't yeah. matter. I don't know. I guess we'll have to watch and find out if we think it's authentic. Okay, I think I might watch this one with you. I might but check it out. These types. I don't of... know if I'll stick with it. it. Might be too much for me. It might be too extreme for me. <laughs> extreme. It seems like this is like circa 2007. Like these kind of reality shows where yeah. it's, it's like a TLC is full of these shows though. It does yeah. seem like it's missing the mark. Like 90 by Day some Fiance years. and all those. It, uh, are they which still... can be entertaining? Yeah, I guess uh, they're yeah, still. They're po- yeah, people are still watching them, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a decent show. I'm Just, not going to say it's the best show on TV, but right. there's a reason all of us have at least watched one or right. two episodes. You know, I mean, it's it's a car crash, right? You're watching the. You're like, yeah, it's kind of cringe watch. Yeah yeah, 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 and that's what this is. Exactly yeah. what this is. It hmm. it would be more interesting if the if it didn't have to be so reality show and it's so scripted, and every different episode has like. Oh, we're um, we're throwing uh, one of the twins is having a birthday, but she wants her cake a little bit different than the other cake. So, um, uh, old Ben, uh, or, or like driving Mike, around of five hundred Win Dixie. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's always it was like they always have to force some sort of stupid plot uh, to the the episodes following, and then everybody's like they're kind of themselves but acting at, you know what I'm saying yeah. so it's kind of like ah, I don't know what I'm going to do so she doesn't want her cake that way I guess got to go get another one and it's all just edited together yeah. to kind of show they, what they want they eat the same food they go to the bathroom together and they shower together they go to the bathroom together this is a lie yeah, yeah, yeah. this is all fake <laughs> oh, God, I got my hopes up. What, do you, what do you mean to go to the bathroom together <laughs> uh, what, what does that mean and then well no you and I did that for, when we first started the podcast you would sit down and then I would <laughs> I would on top sit of reverse style and we put our bellies together yeah, 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 and then yeah. I would hug you and squeeze you and that's how we'd go number one. <laughs> <laughs> you thought number two, but no. no number one. That's disgusting. Number Just one. number one. I'm looking uh, at the rest of these cast members and it's all kind of along the same lines. Like there's no boundaries. They sleep in the same bed. They share a toothbrush. Like <laughs> you don't so you're just that. trying to gross people out. It's like fear factor. No, they're just, yeah. they're just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are stupid TV shows. This, this is where we're at, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Like a Mountain Dew in the water fountain. Well, I was either this or watching teen girls dance on TikTok with their hand dances. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can't even use our legs anymore. It's just hand dances. <laughs> Whatever will fit in the screen. Don't put your feet in there. You're too big. All right. Porky's a popka. <laughs> Welcome back to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Samantha's here. Butler's here. Let's jump into voicemail messages. You can leave those two ways. one eight four four T O M N D A N. If you call that. Most mm. people know that the letters on the alphanumeric deal on the phone, right? Or do most people not know I that think that's because going away. we don't use phones anymore? Well, am I confusing people by having a vanity number? No, my kids would be confused, but our listeners, they know. Right. But (laughs) but like, will most, will kids, do kids know now, like Tommy, Max, Maisie do not know that the numbers on a phone can spell out things. They don't know that, right? Well, but yeah, they don't know anything, though. (laughs) Right, they don't. They don't know anything. But like a third, I think even... They, I bet 13 year olds know, but never really use that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, they understand it. Uh, even on your iPhone, when you go to your numbers, there's the letters underneath. So, I'm yeah, sure, but do they even know. pay attention to that? I have no idea. It's just an old school thing that will probably be, yeah. uh, you know, eliminated. The phone numbers in general are kind of, I mean, they were being eliminated back in the radio days yeah. when we went to, when everything was going to websites, um, we had to tell like clients, you know, it used to be read the phone number three times. Um, and then it was like, yeah, everybody only needs the website, yeah, the, the phone changes. number. Yeah. I don't know. I was just thinking about that because like, also I like technology and we're going to do your voicemails. Hmm. I like technology where 
like we're beyond something, but then somebody figures out a way to invent something we don't need. For instance, there's got to be somebody who in, has invented, and it's called email, but has invented a way for you to text from your f- house phone to another house phone, right? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, that's not needed. But somebody is currently working on a version of that, and but they're going to have to have a screen on your house, phone and they're going to tell at, us right? that we need right. Do you know what I'm saying here, or should we just do voicemails? No, I, I, <laughs> you, well, there, yeah, there's constantly being. Well, I feel bad for people to invent something and spend their lives inventing it for it only to be eliminated by a new technology right. that society came out with. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, um, I'm sure at one point someone came out with a really good beeper technology, right? When cell phone, you know what I'm saying? Like you're always, yeah. there's not that person that's coming too late to the yeah. game yeah. and puts everything into it. And the waste. I'll tell you, and big, I never had the beeper. I wanted, I, I, never, I never had a beeper. I never got to the point where I got the beeper. I wanted, I always wanted the beeper. Follow me. That had the case that it would pop out and you'd read the side of it. I always had the one that had the clip on it, the poor man's beeper, where you'd look at the top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The square, the, the yeah, with the yeah. pack of cigarettes where you look down. But I the wanted top the end. one that they, people would slide it out and look at it and then they'd snap it back in. I was like, oh, that's fancy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was the one I wanted. Those seem to come in right about the end of the beeper life. Uh, yeah, they, I want to say they only had like two years. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah. those were like. A oh, big deal. I'll tell you one piece of technology that I laughed at that uh, old uh, Clear Channel came out with or, or invested heavy amounts of money into was the old digital radio. Um, I still don't that? even know what HD radio. I still HD don't even know radio. what that is. Yeah, I still don't know what that it is. It does either. on my car. Like in, in my car, it'll like turn on and then it'll give the little HD sign and then it'll like it'll wait a second and then it, it kicks in. I'm like, oh, okay, now I got yeah, it. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Now I got the HD on it. It was like terrestrial radio's answer for <laughs> it's uh, like laser disc. Uh, like uh, the <laughs> internet or something. They were like digital radio and then they went heavy and, and then remember they were giving away hundreds no, of it's digital still radios. There. You're acting as if this still isn't a thing. There's like real radio. Radio one, two, three, four, yes. and five. Yeah, yeah. If you have a digital radio, you can listen to like listen to one hundred four point one two for soul music or something. You know, it's weird. I'm gonna go ahead and say it was a failure. Um, even yeah. though it, 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 yeah. it's not a thing if, for sure. If they don't realize it's a failure, that's crazy because uh, of course it is. There's no one cares about digital radio. No one listens to that. No one even knows what that is. But Sam did bring up a damn good NSYNC <laughs> song, which is Digital Digital Get Down, Just You and Me. Didn't mm-hmm. David Nickel wrote that song? Okay, he might have. David Nickel claims that he wrote it. I'm not going to say he didn't or he did. I believe that David Nickel says he wrote does the he song. Does he have writing cred? Digital get. Down. I think he I does. I think he does. And he got like his first taste of oh, uh, music. He dipped his fame. beak in it, and then he could never get out oh, of it. Yeah, and yeah. he's uh, 50 years old. He's smashing his face <laughs> in Thailand doing flips uh, at a mail review. I think he wrote "Digital Get Down." What are some other gigantic wastes of money that? Uh, I like the ones that are back. The sad ones are the guy that uh, spent all his life savings. You know, but that's sad. But I get great enjoyment out of the ones that are giant corporations spend an insane amount of money pushing some product that never either the, yeah. pop, got popular or just a complete waste, and they moved on. It's like how much? Well, we, were these scooters? Hundred right? million all around the town, right? I mean, that's one of the things, right? That not that I, like just a red box blip in, like, that's... I mean, <laughs> they're everywhere, then they'll be nowhere, right? And that'll just be a... People seem to love them. They may... Yeah, but they think they love them because people love drinking. That's why they, they don't love them because... But it is like, also convenient, and now it is very much a cheaper option than Uber and Lyft because those prices have gone sky high. Yeah, yeah. So I know David Jolly went from the Land Cruise to Bull and Bush on one of those scooters. Yeah, but it was very dangerous. My yeah, oh, of course God, it, was. it was. dangerous. Of course it was. But, the uh, fact that he's still alive. My God. I, saw, I told you, that lady I saw eat it the night of our Land Cruise I've event a people eat might it, be yeah. dead. She might be dead. They are dangerous. I... I don't understand how they allow that to happen in Orlando, but whatever. oh no, it, it's <laughs> well, everywhere. Like, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. It is everywhere. I mean, what about a busier city? I mean, there's people that rip through Chicago, yeah. and there's things I like, guess, right? I I like it. I just don't understand how that business stays in business with the amount of insurance it must 
uh, cost. I mean, it seems like in our and we society, we got all kinds of brands. We got like, yeah, what kind do you want? We got all. We got, we got orange. We got blue. We got yeah. green. You want a seat? You want a non-seat? You want a stand? You want a stand-up jet ski? Sit down jet ski? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Razor brand. We got them all. Um, let's play okay. some voicemails. Voicemails. This one's funny just because you have to tell me whether or not Chris Trima is uh, getting into the edibles. Hey, Sam, Tom, Dan, Butler, it's Chris Strema. Um, Y'all were talking about eating glass or if it was bad. Um, Funny story, uh, not last Thanksgiving, the most recent one, but the one before, my mother-in-law put a glass, like, thing on the flat top hot deal like the stove. <laughs> it's called the stove. It's, yeah, it's, a, a, yeah, it's, a, sto- it's a glass yeah, yeah, flat yeah. top stove. Mm. <laughs> she's she's on an edible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah she's Maybe feeling. Maybe she saw some of those pain pills she's left over. Yeah, mm. it's possible. And it exploded, and like glass went shooting out everywhere, like hitting everyone. And there was like children there, and dogs, and like me being a dog lover that I am, like I like grab the dogs, <laughs> but. It was funny because later on that night, you know, you always get sent time with leftovers. Um, my husband was eating leftovers and had a piece of, piece of glass in his tooth. Oh. <laughs> she's laughing at it, too. Like, she's just... Like, oh, how do you get a piece and of... And so I was kind of wondering about that. About piece of glass in your tooth. Maybe oh, like in it, between. It between? landed in the leftovers and he ate it? Yeah, oh, yeah. I guess. Like Ooh. it got in there, it got in your molar like a piece of Jolly Rancher? That is yeah. terrible. A piece of glass? That's that's unsettling. If you crunch it up, it just turns into sand, right? Right. Yeah, that's all yeah. it you gotta is. be careful. Yeah. Don't yeah. cut up your gums. Yeah. But you have to... You, yeah. you gotta crunch it good. Yeah, yeah. Grind it down Ooh. and then swallow yeah, yeah. the people dust. People do that with the light bulbs and stuff, right? They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, people have done it with planes and then there's those psychopaths that have to eat things because they're just psychopaths. Uh, yeah, yeah, There's yeah, people yeah. that just eat tables and stuff because they're just... They like to... Th- Think okay. They will tell us that they just want to be understood and be like all of us, but they're weirdos, right? If you eat like there's a mental problem. There's people that eat filing cabinets and stuff. Yeah, I've seen it on HBO. The uh, oh, you know what I was uh, thinking about the other day? If like with all that's on the internet and all this stuff, um, tell me if you guys agree. So if you're a stand-up comedian, right? I wonder if you're having to battle with the internet. With jokes that you come up with, for instance, like uh, we've seen that like the hive mind uh, of the Internet will come out with some funny stuff. Like that's what basically memes are, right? Like um, like the take your underwear off (laughs) challenge is fine. Like that kind of stuff, though, that people do that online and it becomes like a funny thing. Right. Well, out of the fact that trending. Yeah. I'm not talking about the stupid the stunts or all those things. I'm talking about like the the jokes, um, like whether it's written down as a meme or whatever it is, or like you're talking in front of a camera or whatever. So as like like global events and current events happen or whatever, the entire internet together worldwide starts making fun of it, right? And then like the best ones rise to the top. Right, because that's how the algorithm goes, right, that's and how it works. you'll see the most popular ones. Right, so then you'll see, and then you like. So I, I'm not. Sometimes I look at some of the memes. I'm like, that's a funny joke. Like that's a creative, funny thought, or that's yeah, a yeah. funny commentary on sure. this or whatever. That is that. Yeah, a le- some of it's good stuff. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Some of it's not just garbage. Some of it's really yeah, funny. No, no. At a level of like that person may have wrote the funniest joke of their lives. And, and that's the about one this and top, yeah, that one, yeah. Now that person's not going to be a Chris Rock because they can't do that uh, fifty times and make an hour special or whatever. But they can do it once, right? They're yeah. good for once. But it also gets stolen and other people post it. So that's you don't, what he's saying. But yeah, you don't yeah. know who. He's no, no, saying, no. Though with the internet, you you launch that joke out there and it's good enough and it's over. Let's say a broad subject that everybody can relate to. Yeah. You may have just stolen a joke from some comedian who had that joke, and you just said no. Right? Oh, no. Is that what you mean? Or, like, and then yeah. they're having a bad 
battle that because there's so much content and yes. everybody wants to be a comedian. Not that you stole it, but you thought of it and they thought of it. Right, because right, they, they, right that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, not, the, not stolen in the sense yeah. of... It was just, a, or a version of it. Maybe not be word for word the same thing. But so then the world seeing all this stuff instantly because they're constantly scrolling through the social media and you're seeing these jokes and I wonder if comedians, stand-up comedians are fighting against that because then they're telling a joke on stage that uh, they may have been a popular right. meme. They don't even know. I'm just like it yeah. happens all the time. Me and my husband had a really dumb idea that we thought was funny because we, we've been doing this hiking stuff, and at one of the trailheads we were at, there was like all these little league games going on, but it was like intense. And we were like, wouldn't it be funny if us as two adults without children started going to these little league games and just picking a team that you know we don't it's know anything support, about yeah, and, yeah. and coming there and like, go face, on face me and everything? Yeah. And apparently that was in a movie already. Not yeah, 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 yeah. Like people were like, oh yeah, that was in whatever movie it was. And I was like. I had no. They're like, oh, we thought you were just t- like playing about that movie. I'm like, I've never even seen that movie. Yes. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, because you like, you, damn it, I was gonna do a like, digital short for digital that. hot dog. Somebody <laughs> yeah, in our NFT, Twitch chat room. Hot dogs. Uh, yeah, the NFT and the digital hot dog. We've talked about that. Or well, what? Um, someone what Dan you, well, just the it fact up. that you guys had talked about digital hot dogs and then NFTs became a thing. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I guess it would be a kind, well, it's kind <laughs> of the same thing, but but um, I, I started thinking of like uh, with. The stand-up comedians, like you, having well, to concept. kind of fight the the global hive mind of comedy. Yeah, now it's not just other stand-ups that like quote unquote steal each other's jokes or have the same ideas. Now you're fighting the whole internet world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, then, you're also, but that's a curated hundreds like, of millions of people. Yeah, but know. that's like a bit, and I think that's maybe why you're seeing a lot of comedians who normally. Would they're still curating, you know, their amount of, let's say, a full hour. Let's mm-hmm. say, let's take a, you know, let's say like Bobby Lee. He'll have like a full hour. Yeah. But I think you're also seeing them shift to podcasting because they can curate. Get it out there uh, yeah, fast. They, they can get out there quickly. They can also riff. They can do crowd work. They can do yeah. it, you know, in a way that is almost unstealable. And th- and then they're almost selling their presence, their persona over their material. Yes, which. I think it's important. Also, probably hard if you, you know, you talk to these comedians, it's hard as hell to write an hour of oh stand-up, God. right? And then... then it's got to be just grueling. They used to use it for years, yes. right? Because it took years, you know, like five years to write, and then they'd try to at least tour with it for X amount of years. Sure. Now, it's like people are, want so much different now. Every different, tour, you yeah. want something new. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And it's like, I feel like they, they got, you know, younger audience that comes, and you're doing the same act they're mad they're like what this garbage yeah right like it, yeah yeah like yeah. they all this last year yeah yeah and they like, won't understand it as much and know? that kind of happened with uh mark Marin. like we went and saw him and it was a great uh <sighs> one of the show, best but shows i've his, ever seen his next special was from on netflix was literally that show and i'm like yeah. well i'm not gonna watch that because i already saw all the jokes you know that that used yeah. to be the old school yeah. thing you yeah tr- and you travel fits around that, and do a special yeah, he's yeah. an older comic he fits in fact he's a way older you know he yeah. just happens to be beloved by younger people like think you know because Just, of this podcast yeah generationally i think he was able to to kind of uh, wiggle his way in there be, because he he's like there's a new media form that i really like and i i'm an old school radio guy and i can get on this yeah, I wonder, hmm. it would probably be the new thing would just be like, get it out there, dump, like, get it out dump as fast out. as possible. <laughs> I mean, Dave Chappelle can kind of do it and, and do it at a super high level where he can just turn it out, like, turn them around. Um, the guy's a genius, though. It's hard to get that, but you know. You say turn it around, but that guy goes out and works material all the time. He does. Well, I mean, as far as well, specials he's, he's go, like, highly he can, organized. It seemed like he was flipping specials um, uh, uh, once a year yeah. for, like, at least like a Netflix. Years, yeah. yeah. And who knows? He may have written that over a crazy right. amount of time but yes you, it just seems like uh the new maybe the new stand-up would be like a lot more improv and like throwaway well, stuff well you're seeing and, like, people do it uh Andrew Schultz he did a uh, he does a whole uh, special where he's like the whole thing's crowd work so he hired the crew he got the place he yeah. sold it out and then he came out and it's a gamble but he came out and he's like who knows he might have done three shows but you come oh, out yeah, and, you, yeah. and you go it's i'm just riffing and out of those three one hour shows you get an hour of the best right smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's smart yeah. you know it's creative it's different you know um let's try this one man we had an influx of guys that seemed to be going through uh the phone trials and tribulations that you go through sir no hey guys i was just listening to about uh tom's TikTok, <clears throat> and the reason why he has a pervy algorithm <laughs> 
is because even if you don't like anything, but if you watch a video all the way through, exactly time spent um, on the video, that's one way of it determines on like what you like to watch, basically. It's true. So since he's watching all these uh, teen girls <laughs> dance in their underwear, this is a problem. We can't uh, spread this around. I mean, he's not doing not anything. No, they're yeah. old teens. Uh, they're old teens. But it's like, how am I supposed to? What, as soon as I saw the first one, I'll be like, oh no! Also, can it. everybody please I, I say? Like, can, okay, can everybody please not say watch the video to completion? <laughs> right. That is not allowed this to be said uh, on our show anymore. And I'm just putting my foot down on that. Okay. No, no, you are making something into that. It is the, it's a fact to that I watched it video. to completion. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the video to completion. Um. That's why I keep showing him more and more and more. What you got to do is like when you see something that you that you you know like like cooking or uh, boat fails or whatever it is, kind of like what I look at. Well, cooking you just have to fails. follow. That person <laughs> or, or. That's all I look. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Oh, he calls and shames you. I can't uh, let people do this. Hold on, that's a new and name of our a- show: Cooking and Boat Fails. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we do now. <laughs> Uh, like their, that page, and you'll get more and more and more of that stuff, and eventually, the dancing girls will be replaced with dancing um, women. So, what do you turn your shower back on? He turned his shower <laughs> off, stepped out, left the voicemail message, and slowly turned his shower back on. I think yeah. he was wa- rinsing off some of his vegetables for his TikTok cooking classes. Oh yeah, well I only go to TikTok for it- cooking. Boat fails. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not teen. It's they're twenty it's year old. Teens. They're twenty year old they're girls. Teens. I just call them teens because it's funny. It is funny. Um, let's try this one. Hi. One of my favorite things is when Tom <laughs> recently was talking about. Oh, if we won the Powerball, I'm going to get a stand up jet ski. Like that's the epitome of fancy to him. How mad is that guy? He's just mad, and he like yelled at, and he stuffed his phone back into his pocket. I, it's not uh, fancy. I just it's a, one of those you know Kenny Powers uh, things that I want to buy if it's I ever got you rich. Is that uh, you know stupid? And I and I'm not talking about a regular old stand up jet ski. I'm talking about. Uh, you know, carbon fiber trick, the backflip in the yeah. in the pool at Las like Vegas, like a racing one. Yeah, yeah, like like a carbon fiber trick jet ski with footholds and that. You know, something the damn uh, the hole cost fifteen thousand dollars. Why does this guy want to yuck on your yum? I don't understand why this guy's so mad about it. What do you care <laughs> if Tom won the Powerball? What do you care if he wants to buy a stand up jet ski? What do you care if he is just people trashy? don't like he's just other cl- people wasting their money. You just clowning, him even though it's so your own mad. money. Yeah. That sounded mad as hell. Mm. Let's try this one. Tom, Dan, Sam, Trav. Happy Friday, guys. It's Titusville Josh here. Um, it's been a really tough couple of weeks, and I haven't heard you guys break down a song in a good long while. Um, have you ever listened to uh, Take It Back by Jimmy Buffett? It's cheesy, it's corny, and I love it, and I think you guys can make some fun. All right. Thanks. I'll hang up and listen live. Bye. Take It Back by Jimmy Buffett? I am not familiar I with that. I don't think that I am either. So uh, is it old Jimmy Buffett or new Jimmy Buffett? Is there new Jimmy Buffett? <laughs> That's a great question. Like, I think there is new Jimmy he, Buffett. Came, came I think out with a new album. Buffett. Yeah, this one's off the album "Boats, Beaches, Bars, and Ballads." Um, <laughs> That's called "Take It Back." Yes, mm. "Take It Back." Oh. What do you think he's talking about? Oh, God. Maybe somebody said something messed up to him, and he's like, "Take it back." Oh, this, no, is, this is from '92. It, Ooh, that's old. Yeah, it, that's old. That's yeah. considered. Okay, that's I got it. I got it. It's about like having some sort of beach sand in your shoes, and you when you take it back, you take a little bit of that vacation lifestyle ah, back with that's you. That's a good guess. And so it's like take it. You know, that they all pretty about, accurate. Taking back the memories, the beach sand, the little. Uh, that's my guess. All right, let's see. It's, uh, here's a little Jimmy Buffett. Take it back. Yes, pirate. <laughs> it's going full Buffett pirate. It had like Pirate's Life at the beginning, the Disney song. Oh, there's oh, the steel drum. Ravon. Ravon. Oh, I've got his name wrong again. Steel drum. How did this guy get so rich? I'm I sorry. Know. I'm so sorry. You can't just shove steel drums into every song. Whoa, that guy is going. 92. Open season on the open seas. And the captain says, no prisoners, please. 
Skull and crossbones on a background of black. Okay, I can't, no, I can't, I can't even do it. What is, he, what is it about? It like, sounds pirates, like he's talking pirates. about how they're taking back the skull and crossbones flag from, quote, <laughs> For, <laughs> Captain oh. Kangaroo. He's real mad about He says, call it a pillage or call it a plunder. We're taking it back from them boys down under. <laughs> Wait, is, it, is this a pro pirate flag? Is this yes. Like, was Captain Kangaroo trying to cancel the pirate flag? And Jimmy Buffett's like, "F you, Kangaroo." Hold on. I'm Jimmy Buffett, and God damn it, we're st- I'm taking the flag back. What is it? So he he's mad that Captain Kangaroo used like the skull and crossbones? We ain't stealing. We're just taking it back. Very simple plan of attack. It's our job and a labor of love. Take it home to the up above. We ain't stealing. We're just taking it back. Very simple statement of fact. It's it- ain't a rag. It's a flag. It's, it's, it's a little that. Hey. It is, call it a pillage or call it a plunder. We're taking it back from them boys, boys down, down under. under. Hit us hard. Took our treasure. That was the worst thing that they could do. It it was. It will be our great pleasure to take it back from that Captain Kangaroo. Hit us hard. <laughs> took our pleasure. Oh. Look at my ding dong treasure. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. The <laughs> sails are up and the bets are down. Let's lighten up this harbor town by hook or crook or new design. We're streaking for that finish line. Oh, this is pro naked pirate. This is a uh, naked pirate uh, song. Hold on, so this is what Jimmy Buffett he wants to run through the streets naked as a pirate. What? So it's about these. The flag design? Okay, somebody in the chat room says Jimmy Buffett wanted to put the raping and pillaging back into the pirate flag. (laughs) I I understand it now. He's like, Uh, this pirate flag, these kids have been using it for their, you know, their funny yo-ho and kids, but pirates are really rapers, and I want to get back to (laughs) you. Okay, all right. Hold on. There's a in the crowd. There's a spoken word part in this uh, song that says, we ask ourselves when we get in a fix, what would Popeye do in a tight spot like this? I've never asked that. He'd race for his true love and easily win it in an old spinach can with a mast stuck in it. What the hell are you talking this about, Jimmy high Buffett? As hell. Yeah, he's oh like, he's like you, you, you want uh, you olive want? oils pee? You take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my you, God. Ta- you take it. With Come get it. You take this it. This ain't a rag. It's a flag, and I'm a goddamn Popeye man. <laughs> yeah, you take this it. This is weird. With brute uh, you're gonna forearm to, strength. You're gonna have to pry the corn cob pipe <laughs> out of my big, weird, squished <laughs> face. <laughs> uh, Why is your face so squished, Popeye? It was, it was 90s, a different time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a. Uh, God, you're skipping leg day, bro. Um, by the way, if you actually really l- enjoy the music... I've been getting into Jimmy uh, Buffett a little really? bit. Really? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, I have. It's not good. I did. I told you guys this a, a couple months ago, at the beginning of the pandemic, I started playing that Mac McAnally that, it's my job, it be bad. I like the old country, like, Jimmy Buffett. I don't like this. Okay, yeah. This is more like cornball. Um, yeah. This is more boogie board. Jimmy Buffett, this is boogie board Jimmy Buffett. I like old school mustache Jimmy Buffett. Remember mustache Jimmy Buffett? Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, it was it was before he went full on gimmick, uh, yeah. beach gimmick. You know, he just re- like he well he liked the beach, but he was just like a hippie at the beach. Yes. At some point, he became old man wears um, like wrist. Uh, what do you call them? Sweatbands at the beach. Fluorescent green sweatbands at the beach. It also became a lifestyle. Somebody then- on Yahoo Answers. Says it's a rallying song for Dennis Connor and the crew of Stars and Stripes about taking the America's Cup sailing trophy back from the boys down under the Australians in 1987. Okay, that oh, makes sense. Okay, that so it's sense. some sailing reference. Yeah. We have no you idea. Have idea. Cup in your bathroom. <laughs> you used to have it. Tom had a, a shadow box that had inside. It was super fancy too. Inside of it, it had like two America's Cup, uh, like half. Like what they do is they Sam they get like a wooden boat and they cut Why it in half. half. <laughs> they cut it. You happened. actually did have that? Yeah, and then they glue it in a shadow box, and it's like <laughs> leaning over, rocketing through the seas, and it's like, yeah. America's Cup, taking it back. It, it, it was a white trash-themed sailing bathroom. You know, it was like, okay. oh, Bed, Bath, and Beyond. We had some uh, some <laughs> shell soaps in a dish, and some America's you, Cup. Okay, you get an old... And a palm tree. You get an old lamp, and you fill it full of shells. A, a palm tree <laughs> toothbrush holder. Yep. 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 You get America's Cup, palm tree toothbrush holder, <laughs> a picture of your son's ass in there. <laughs> well, now well, that's a new one. Now it's, it's now it's just butts. Yeah, now they're now they're yeah. like, what's trashier than old seashell Mima? <laughs> I know. We'll just put pictures of all of our asses in our bathrooms. Brock in the BDM chat or in the Twitch chat is correct. He says that's the Bell's Outlet bathroom, and that is one hundred percent. If you go to the home section, in Bell's, Bell's Outlet, it's all shells yes. and palm trees. Yeah, yeah. That's and what we like. He should get a prize. That's what we like. There's white trash. We're like, we're a bathroom is the 
beach. <laughs> like, why? Because that's what you do when your wife leaves <laughs> you with the kids. You're like, I'm moving to the beach and I'm getting a snake. <laughs> but are like, well, why don't you make the living room your beach? Right. I'm like, no, the bathroom because there's water in it because I'm an yeah. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> why and the there's bathroom? always like a sign that has like different directions like Key West and then it's like Puerto Rico oh, yeah. and then it's like the Bahamas and then it's like yeah, yeah, the yeah. Vam fam- family uh, <laughs> abode. I've always wanted one of those signs. <laughs> like I've always wanted to put one by my pool. Yeah. And uh, and Where ha- yeah, you need to. Yeah. And then I I do secretly just a little bit want Tony's old man tiki bar. <laughs> yeah. I know you do. I know you do. Yeah. Because have I, you noticed Tony won't put a full picture of the tiki bar up there because he knows we'll s all over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. won't fully reveal. It looks pretty nice. He won't fully yeah, yeah, yeah. reveal it because he knows if yeah. we see every aspect of it, we'll just destroy it with our minds. <laughs> he knows. Well, we know we make fun of it. Yeah, but, he knows uh, we'll make fun. But of it. I do. I'm a little jealous of I the tiki too. bar. You got I'm, that party life I'm, going I'm, on. I was jealous of those coasters he's yeah. ponied up those on. Are nice he went out on his wallet on those coasters. Yeah. Tony spent some money. Deb must have. Said you can buy this forty dollar coasters. I because those are nice ass coasters, yeah, stone coasters. I imagine if one day I'm sitting in it and then he's behind the bar like uh, shining Making a glass. Margarita. And, yeah, yeah. and oh, then I'm like, like I'm like, a lemonade stand on porn. <laughs> <rows>. <laughs> No, no, he has no oh, pants God. on. He has no pants I'm on like, underneath. I'm in Jimmy Buffett <laughs> shining. <laughs> <laughs> I look at there. There's a picture of me hosting. You were there the whole time <laughs> on the old 1920s bikini contest. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, they're frozen, <laughs> dead. <laughs> I'm trying to kill In Max. No, you're yeah. trying to, you and Scatman Crothers are having a horrible fight. Uh, all right, um, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back with more corporate time. Welcome back to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Samantha's here. Butler is here. How are the fish? Have we checked them they, recently? Yeah, I put water Hold in the on. tank yesterday. Okay. Um, they should well, be good. What have you done for me lately? Let's go to the tank. And, oh, never, wow. There's a baby dory, murder shrimp. Um, all the little bee holes are uh, real perky and good. Murder shrimp to your right. He looks great. That baby dory, that's the that's longest. That's a big dory, dude. We've That's the longest fish we've had, right? Uh, yeah, because it ate, it ate all the other fish. Yeah, yeah. That it thing is a survivor. Them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beyond. That thing's gonna make it. I think the shrimp are the oldest thing we have in there. No, I, no, no, we got that no. dory before no. the shrimp. No? The other dory got ate up. Oh, before yeah. we got this, this is, dory. This is, <laughs> this is dory, dory two. number two. Yeah, this is, this is dory. We got two. the bigger one after. Yeah. yeah, the murder shrimp. Well, we had to get a the murder the shrimp. Okay, yeah, yeah, those you, things you guys are... are just spreading fake news. <laughs> the shrimp have done nothing wrong. <laughs> this is how. This is where the problems start. You know, this yeah, is yeah, what yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. But I could do it now. This, uh, the fish are the only ones I could do it to okay. nowadays. Yeah, it makes you feel better to do yeah, it. Just yeah. keep a little bit yeah, of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we uh, what, oh, we got this new little fish. He's see through, and he's got like little yellow or tan like camouflage dots on him, and he will munch a big mouth of like maybe fifteen to twenty rocks. Mm. Then he will use his mega sucking power. To rip algae off of mm-hmm. the rocks, and then he will poop spit the rocks out of each sides of his gills mm-hmm. back in like a modern day vacuum, like a Dyson vacuum cleaner. Yep, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. He's our biggest asset right he now. He is definitely great. I don't know what kind of fish it is. You know, I posted that to my Snapchat, and someone told me what kind of fish it was, and now I totally forgot. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. you know, it's always some sort of weird name, and you're like, oh, that's yeah. the name. You barely pronounce it, and you're like, well, yeah. I didn't even care. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't yeah. care. Like, yeah. I don't really care. I'm not going to retain this information. Yeah, make the names easy for me to remember. This is how I am with yeah. plants. Like, you plant people. Like that, By the way, the BDM Growers and Showers page is one of the most active BDM page. I love that page because yeah. I'm, I'm starting to get some plants. You know, like uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm well, very, why, very low level. Why don't you talk to me about uh, it? No, no, I'm doing it on my own. What kind of plants I, are you getting? I don't want, I'm not telling you because you're going to make fun of them. We're getting, uh, and I'm enjoying some stinky it. sucker. You know, I did, succulents, I, I right? Did, <laughs> you're getting, getting stinky you're suckers. Getting the... You're a stinky sucker. <laughs> I didn't get any stinky succulents. Okay, they're all actual plants. They're not air plants. Okay, well, what, uh, what are you talking about? I don't know what they are. Yeah, they got pots. Where are you putting them on your balcony? No, there. I got them in different areas of my. I got one in the kitchen. It loves oh. the light there. I got one on my dining room table, and then I got one my, uh, one near my TV. Well, what, like, are they broadly? I'm not going to show you because you're going to pick. They're very rudimentary, low level. They're not IKEA plants. House, are they? No, they're not IKEA plants. Where'd got, you get them? At Walmart? I'm not telling. No, I didn't get them. <laughs> no. Okay. 
I got them from a uh, a fancy place in town that I got my wife a plan of the month club membership. Oh, and man. she goes over to the plant place. They give her the plant, and she spends way too much in a pot. And then we put it in the house, and we take. Well, I feel kind of insulted uh, that no one's uh, talked to me about this. Well, your stuff Mm. always looks a little janky. You know, it's like (laughs) a little dirty. How dare you? It's a little dirty. Uh, You know, there's like the. It's like my. If you look at my plants, they may not be better than your plants, and your plants are far more exotic. But my plants are cleaner and look like they have less disease. Samantha, this is a slap in the face, and I'll explain. It's okay. like okay, um, if you wanted to get into Grifton, right, and you were like, I my new hobby is Grifton. And then you started just researching Grifton well, yourself. Well, she got a butler because he's then, the king of Grifton. Well, no, and but and you never talked. To old Grifton Jess one time, and then you told her, you're like, hey, I've been studying grifting for the past year. I've been studying, I've been, I talked to a couple of grifters, uh, and I, I, she would be insulted if you're like, why didn't you come to me? Your best Grifton friend. Uh, yeah, that's probably true. So that's yeah, how I, I feel right now. I don't because think you didn't come, you... Cause your wife didn't ask me at all, like, hey, is this plant good? Uh, what, like, where is this she plant ranked? She thinks your plants are janky, dude. <laughs> no, we both do. She wants Our whole family plants. thinks your plants look like garbage. <laughs> <No, laughs> I'm just saying you. it. You because they're, not, they're mother... all over the place. They're not organized. They're in little organized. Dixie cups. Like, when I go to no, your house, that's it's a propagation like... Yeah, you're right. It does kind of look like a meth house with plants. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm a agreeing with you. You know more about plants. Your plants are more exotic and crazier. I have very low-level, simple plants that even dum-dums can take care of, but my plants look clean and organized. Your plants are all in a bunch of trash, and they're just kind of spewing around. Yeah, and they're no, like they got toothpicks holding them up, and you got a root over yeah, here, you I, got a potato I'll, growing over here. You got this, it's like the end of the world over yeah, there. It I'll looks like a, <laughs> it looks like I it looks like somebody it looks like my cra- my spaceship crashed, and I found a dwelling, and I opened it's it up. Matt Damon and, and Mar- I realized that somebody had been living here, and that all these plants are everywhere. And I'm like, hello, no. hello, hello, hello. Is anybody in this trash plant dwelling? You. I'm here. Yes, ho! Oh, I've got my laser gun on you. Do not make a move. I will shoot you through my trash plant. You guys are supporting Big Plant, and <laughs> and you guys are buying from big corporate plant corporations. Where do you get your plants? I, I some of them make myself. We trade. Why do you make a plant? So, well, you I propagate myself. <laughs> From I, where? From my own plant supply. Oh, <laughs> I, never, I get, make, never get high on your own supply. <laughs> I take uh, uh, older plants, and I make new Where'd baby the older plants. Where plants come yeah. from? Well, some of them are growing around my yard. Some of them You're are... Playing. You're like a Frankenstein over there. You're bringing them back to life. I get cuttings from other plant enthusiasts from their collections, and then I propagate. I uh, that's I, why there's that trash layer everywhere. There's <laughs> bags of mold. Well, because a bag I, of this rocks. Because I'm starting the plants from like uh, Crystal made our avocado trees, and I'm gonna graft some uh, some the fruit bearing branches on them, and in, in the future. So she started hers from <laughs> seeds. Like we've started our plants from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Plant drink. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> And you guys are just going to uh, no, Target. I, no, I did not go or, to Target. Or you're going no. on some uh, 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 Plant Arena website, <laughs> no. and you're paying expensive monthly no. memberships for no. someone to send you a stinky... It's I go to sent. Liner Patch Nursery and Apopka to get my plants. It's not sent. Because they're a semantic sponsor. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, I want a Plant Nursery sponsor. Well, you should have got in on it. What is it called? Liners? <laughs> <laughs> Liners plants? <laughs> liner Patch. Uh, uh, liner Patch. Well, my, my wife shaved or lighter pants. <laughs> <laughs> Do they got the, uh, a greenhouse? They got everything, bro. Do they got a greenhouse? I'm looking for some more monstera. Support local um, business. Um, I also want some palm. I want a big. Okay. Th- th- uh, oh. Speaking of plants. Oh, you want a big palm tree so you can climb up it wearing white shorts, slide down <laughs> it, and make it look like you pooped yourself. <laughs> the, the Bow Roads. Bow Roads. So, um,. I'm in the process right now of re-landscaping my backyard. Well, you should re-landscape oh, your <laughs> living room because it's filled with uh, Dixie cups of plant clippings. And uh, so I'm I'm putting the showpiece in the middle. Um, what is which it? Chris is making fun of me. <laughs> and then I'm looking to uh, plant a sizable palm tree. What does sizable mean? Like 
like a ten footer. Whoa! Right. All right, uh, that's yeah, big know, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's big money. Yeah. And um, and I'm looking at this one area. I know where kind you can of, steal I, from. I, right I, in front of Orlando City Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful one. Yeah. <laughs> it's it beautiful up. world. We just have to distract <laughs> Kingston long enough for me and you in the to middle sneak of night. up there, and then I just gonna I'm gonna yell someone at the gentrified businesses to see if they'll help out. <laughs> I'm like, we're getting them. We're getting them. I'll tell that church we're and, getting them. And uh, and then I haven't told Crystal about this because that's good. I want to do it. Myself, and I want to buy a ten foot bum tree, and then with bum a tree. bum tree, I heard bum tree too. No, bum tree. Hold with, on a second. With a big root bulb in the bottom, the whole thing, and yeah. then dig a whole big yeah, hole. With the, well, you're gonna have to tear your screen out. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it's part of your waterfall, right? No, no. no this is behind my uh, enclosure, oh. and then, but I want to have one random palm tree. Uh, well, there's a couple. It's all part See, of nothing symmetrical. Uh, everything. Well, that's what all she yells, but it's custom. Like she wants, but it looks terrible. <laughs> she wants the nice uniform corporate thing. What are you talking about? The the, uniform- just like Daniel. You just want a jungle well, she back She wants there. a nice looking backyard instead we're, of your I, trash. Uh, you have the equivalent. Yeah, that's what she said. You have the equivalent of those guys <laughs> that get so many fines from the city that you make a, an aluminum foil middle finger and put it on your roof. You're that guy. You put the aluminum foil middle finger on your roof and you're like, come get me, buddy Dyer. You're that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're that guy. Well, my pop up hated yeah, the government. I know. I did that. That's leeching into me a little just bit. Just buy the good. You hate it all. Just have them. them come and have them elevate certain areas so you have like areas that are no, like no. higher and lower. That takes it. Well, I can't do Koi that myself. Pond. You can't do any of this yourself. You can't do anything yourself. You've never <laughs> done anything. Oh, man. You've but never, that's what no, I want. I'm tired of this. All right. I, I don't want to. Wanna... This is the end. This It ends today. Plan Drake's High, dreams yeah. are being crushed. It ends today, Highlander. <laughs> You can't do anything. Stop. Wow. Buy the thing. No. no. Tough, all the people. tough words. Butler, call Six Flags. <laughs> we need everybody coming out. Uh, well, the, the, we need the whole nine. Six Flags. I'm using Six Flags. Just use them for. Well, uh, who's going to install rock. it? Well, I, the rocks, because um, uh, my landscaper, Sean, came in, worked with Six Flags, and dug. Uh, I had to dig this huge uh, rock pit because uh, my house was flooding. <laughs> that's Samantha's brewery. brewery <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, that's rock that pit too? brewing. That's <laughs> my other sponsor. I, I, yeah, I have yeah. tried to steal I put my rock pit in my wife's Linus patch. <laughs> but uh, So that, I used uh, Six Flags mulch, got the rocks. Uh, I think it was like 110 bags of rocks. The rock, because the rock pit, uh, that's the man. 110 manu- bags of rocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a lot. Oh, man, um, but do you have uh, any grass that that <laughs> or is it just a rock garden? I don't want to do that. That's hard ass work. But I, what I do want to do is you want to do the designing, like I, your, yes, like your Ar- Arnold Palmer <laughs> yes, yeah, designing I, a golf course. I want to design my backyard, but I don't want to do the corporate like put these hedges and these uh, um, we're gonna umbrella here, trees. We're going to get a stack of see through Dixie cups six feet tall here. <laughs> then I'm going to need uh, toothpicks over here. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to need a pile of rotten potatoes over. <laughs> here, then I'm going to need a rusted gas tank right here. Because it, when I look at it at the when I'm finished with the final product, I'll be like, I did that myself with my own two hands, and I I did oh, this like, all. Oh, <laughs> I know what this is about. And, and then, um, what do you think this is about? What do you think fueled this earlier in the week? What? Those mud people that build the the mansions, the mansion uh, mud people that build no, the mansions. He's been watching those YouTube videos with his sons no, of no. these mud people building the. Uh, and that's disrespectful that I call them that. I don't know who these people are. Right. Yeah, but but yeah. they build the mansions out of mud using nothing but a stick and a pair of uh, uh, well, cargo shorts. Yeah, those are more artists and sculptors and stuff like that. I, I think, you know, they're not really doing this to live anyway. I, I mean, it's got to look. But you nice. want to design your backyard, and you're not a designer, so I am not. But that's part of the the enjoyment. I I get out of it. You're it, Louis Fouton. <laughs> it's going to end up like your house where you keep redoing it every couple years. Well, Crystal was, she's like, it's all over the place. She, she's, What's she yeah, talking about? The, the, the she's looking at your computer keyboard again. <laughs> she, but she's like, look, there's plants everywhere. They yeah, got this and there's no rhyme just, or, Yeah, it's random yeah, as yeah, hell, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to clean it up. Yeah, it's like, I keep waiting for Phil Collins to sing the Tarzan <laughs> song when I'm back there. But I don't want the uniform corporate plants. I want, you want, you want chaos. A, you want a messy, <laughs> yeah, yeah you're like the guy, I don't want to comb my hair. I just want it to be a big uh, matted ball of crap. I want each plant to mean something. Uh, because do, you can't see them. Uh, no, no, they, well, I can't. I know they're there. She sees uh, a it's mess. Like your desk. It's his desk. Yeah, I, am, I see. I'm like this one. I went and got, and I. Uh, oh my god! You tell stories behind the plants. <laughs> oh, I don't tell them to anybody because no one cares. Oh, oh, you talk oh, to your plants. Crystal does the thing when I'm uh, like I'm telling her something, and she starts nodding like droid shrewd. <laughs> 
and then bullying me. He's like, you're my own wife. The only person I can't talk well, to take you guys. The hint. I can only talk to literally this, this uh, black D. A, a lot of people don't know yeah, that yeah, when we this do is the only time I talk in the morning, it's dead silent in here. As it's weird. On vacation, I don't talk. I don't no. talk to anybody. He didn't say a weird. A, a weird. He, did, well, he did say a weird. He didn't say a word in Colorado yeah, yeah. to me. He didn't speak five <laughs> words to me. Well, no one wants to hear. Well, He's missing his plans. I like to hear the things you said. Just yesterday, you made you made Sam mad because you want to marry Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> you love it, bro. <laughs> it didn't make me mad about that. It's just I give you an answer. And it's not good enough. Well, I don't know. Oh, 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 well, kid. that is. Some answers aren't good enough. <laughs> okay. No, that I will agree well, with. Well, let's stop screaming at me. My wife tries that one. My wife tries that one. But uh, the, she gives me an answer. You don't like the answer? That's yeah. fine. But don't keep yelling at me to give you <laughs> more answers. Well, it's the only time I can yell at anybody. <laughs> Well, now just, we got to just it. me and the plants, and I can't yell at them. Go yell at your plants. Like, well, then, 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 oh, you know, then they'll run away. I, they'll my die. sons will think I'm crazy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> because the shoe uh, fits. I know. Uh, this is one of my favorite segments we've ever done. I feel like we did a lot of good here. <laughs> I don't know. So we're supposed to do so, voice reels. I know. <laughs> we haven't done any, right? I know. Well, no, we're talking about his I'm plant. buying the 10-foot palm tree. I planted it this weekend. How much? Tactical Hat says he has a bunch of palm trees in his backyard. You're yeah. free to get one if no. you want. You can fog you them up. You gotta bring the fog machine back, though. Well, I'll help you. Who's gonna dig them up? I... Well, he says you have to dig it well, up. He's that... giving it to you for free. Well, that's a lot of work, and I bring some workers to dig up the palm tree. Workers. You know, who, Tommy and who Max. Are you bringing like, what are Butler? You uh, well, I'll send. No, so I'll, don't get Butler. By, the, by bring, I mean I'll send. <laughs> because yes, I you know, drive going. all the way down and dig up a palm tree. Who are you sending to get I, this palm tree? Well, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people. I One time I, I gave away a palm tree in Deltona to a guy. That was what if BDM. this was the same palm tree? And it's like that guy that finds his first vehicle 20 years later. I'm not joking. His name is still on my cell phone as his first name, Palm Tree. <laughs> and then yeah, yeah. he came and literally, uh, he's a grifter. He he sold the palm tree to some lady that he knows for 300 bucks, And I just needed it out because yeah. I wanted to put a paver area for my boat. And it was like a... 20 foot palm tree, right? Palm trees are trashy, man. I need a paving area. And he, <laughs> he dug this thing up himself with a shovel. That's balls. And then took an engine lift, like a cherry picker, and then jacked it up and then put some trash bags around the bulb That's to keep what it you moist. Do. Yep. And, then, and then basically himself used a cherry picker to put it on the back of a trailer and drive it to this lady's house and plant it in her front That's yard. That's cool. Um, How much? How much did he sell it for, you think? I wouldn't. I, well, he said he told me three hundred bucks, but it's, but I'm like, that's an insane amount of work. What does a ten foot tall palm tree run you? Oh, a more expensive. If you bought it from like one of these farms, like a, a ten foot palm tree is probably around three hundred, three hundred bucks to five hundred dollars, maybe. That's expensive, yeah. man. Depending on what kind, like a queen palm, you can shop. Is there any or... specific type you're looking for that you want? Is this to go with a waterfall, water feature? What are you adding back here? Koi pond? I can't. No, well, are you I, just going tree? I've been talking koi pond uh, with six flags because they do koi Will ponds. Will your in? wife let you have fish? Because they won't be free roaming. They'll be in that tiny little pond. Well, you know, they'll eat out of your hand. You know, that's yeah, like I, the, no, we feed them at grills. Yeah, yeah. Every time I go to grills, I feed the koi. And they, they'll like uh, swim through your fingers. They're like domesticated fish. It's weird. Um, but uh, the, my only problem with the koi pond is that I got, Oh, yeah, you got birds. I, not birds. Raccoons. Oh, your raccoons will eat them all. They're, they're, oh, the raccoons yeah. will eat my oh, koi. Oh, they'll love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they'll, like sushi. Tonight yeah. we dine in hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, they will literally go mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll Eat, oh, they course. see the orange too. They'd be like, "Oh my god, they're dancing!" <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Block party. And if they eat my, oh, I'm trying to machete crazy. Well, that, <laughs> that would be the end of your relationship because you'd kill all the raccoons and then your wife would divorce you. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you'd be covered in blood, standing there in just chubbies holding yeah. a machete. And I got a leaf problem. Uh, so the mm. leaves, like I, I imagine, constantly battling the leaves and like the the. You know, that needs like a pump. You know what? You know what helps that? More trees. <laughs> How about a flag? <laughs> you need a flag. How about like a novelty flag for the season? <laughs> what do you mean? In my backyard? Yeah, like just a garden a, flag, like a nice iron that. garden no, flag, that's like uh, maybe a couple of uh, you know, like butterflies. Tom's secret garden. Yeah, you need something other than just a palm tree. What are you gonna sit back there and look at a palm tree? Well, that's just one aspect of it. I got a whole Get a bird feeder. I got yes, hibiscus, the raccoons, or a bird fountain. The, What's a bird fountain? Like a bird bath. Oh, bird bath. Yeah, that. Um, right. the squ- I mean, the raccoons might bathe in it too, but oh, they will. I don't think um, a bird bath attracts birds that much. Uh, they don't bathe very often. <laughs> like, right? That's the thing about a birds. bird feeder would. Yeah. 
Um, but the, that's what Dad and I found out when we started that uh, bird shoe company. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, birds are an old man's game. I don't care. I, don't, I hate birds. Oh, okay. I, I don't care about birds. I want uh, luxurious tropical bees, trees. Bees. Oh, bees. Bees. I thought about bees, but my mosquito uh, nets hum- kill all of them. Uh, okay. <laughs> <That's a problem. laughs> Hummingbirds. I have some hummingbirds. Okay. Um, uh, Juan in the Twitch chat says that the bird bath does definitely attract birds, and they have both and get tons of all kinds of birds. Juan's lies have been spiraling out of control. <laughs> by the way. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but yeah. since the pandemic, this man's knowledge has gone to zero. <laughs> It was after the balloon incident where he told oh, us the Oh, the, yeah, the that balloon. discredited I, I'm sorry, but You Wal- don't believe anything now? No, I just yeah. feel like I feel like he was playing us. Uh, he was had a strong con going, yeah. and then it's and all I starting remind, to chip away now. I, I remind Daniel every day about Juan and the balloon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every every day, day, we start the day. The giant peach. We hold hands, and we're like, Juan and the balloon? Okay, and then yeah. we start the day. Because Daniel told me, like, Juan says we should do Twitch like this. I'm like, oh, the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that man worked his ass <laughs> off at our land cruise for free. I, uh, I'll get the gift. I saw the footage. It doesn't look like it. You got a gift? <laughs> well, gonna, we're going to get one again. Oh, I wrote that down. <laughs> oh, Samantha's birthday gift. Oh, God. We got All the gift. gifts. Gifts for everybody. Palm trees. How many palm trees can we buy? <laughs> we'll buy three. Oh, I don't want any palm trees. One. I like how you loved yours in there, too. Uh, well, I would, <laughs> yeah, he had it in. When I was a kid, that's what I would do. I'd yeah. buy a birthday one gift for somebody. Them, one I'd be for like, me. a G.I. Joe for Jeremy and a G.I. Joe for old Danny Denny. Where can we get some? Because uh, what if we stumble? Because I feel like the government every once in a while wants to plant some palm trees like on the, the side of the road. Dude, I'm telling you, and right then now. they like forget about them, and then someone's oh. like, "Free palm trees!" Dude, over they're here. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, There's right? so many, There's especially be. in Orlando. I mean, we just have palm trees everywhere. Yeah. Do I get a discount if I use your semantic sponsor? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, on palm tree. Minus patch. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, bye bye. Welcome to A Corporate Town with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. You know, just because it's been a topic lately, uh, we should talk about becoming a BDM. No, I um, thought you were going to say something. Uh, no, no. Like, I thought you were going to light the fires. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like OnlyFans for your ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And, only ears. And there's, uh, there's no nudity. If you are a BDM, you get... Uh, one actually it's more it's probably like what do you what would you say three hours of extra content if you if you oh count, at least at it, least if you count the three uh, to five the the old school OG shows yeah. sometimes we throw a comedian one on the back yeah. of that it's plus three to the five OG intro I'm, plus I'm not the kidding BDM. it's yeah. three to five hours of extra audio and then uh, the the new we do a record a show every week um, and that's on. Uh, uh, Facebook Live on our BDM Facebook yeah, page. You get access to our Facebook page. You get to watch us live yeah. from the studio. And those are all BDMs. Then there's all the subgroups that are BDM groups. Uh, BDM Outdoorsman Group, BDM Culinary Group, mm-hmm. BDM uh, Parents Group. BDM Watch Enthusiasts. Uh, Nerds and Geeks Group. Uh, CBE. Movies. Uh, craft Beer Enthusiasts Group. Um, THC Heavy. Yeah, there's a BDM uh, uh, Growers and Showers. Swingers. There's uh, singles, tales from the crypt, <clears throat> crypto beat. Uh, there's I think, music men, jobs. there's vinyl enthusiasts, uh, yeah, scuba diving. <laughs> there's everything. There's like, team no kids. Who's got gloves? And there's a pet parents group. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all and so rebel that, flag rafts. And uh, we, it's very specific. We tell you BDMs first. Broken about fish tank group. Everything. Um, and at this point. A lot of our members listeners, here first, bro. A lot of our listeners are BDMs, and that's kind of how you know it, it shakes out. After after this much time, you know, when we ask like who's who's a BDM, is most people right? I do not like the term "shakes out" because I always think of that video of that Asian man at the airport mm-hmm. who stands next to that stack of luggage and shakes a turd out yeah. of his khaki pants. Yeah. And also, what made me really realize it's the BDMs that support everything. Yeah, is, they prop us all up. Is when uh, Bart and Crystal tell me they're like, we basically only work with BDMs. Like, if they're buying or selling a house and they heard about it through Tom and Dan, they're BDMs. Yeah. Or at least they tell us. Like, they're, they, they don't have any way to bear <laughs> verifying. Verify it oh, yeah, well, yeah, it's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're maybe right. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're right. all you. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I would yeah. say. Where, where did you hear about this, Tom and Dan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Had no idea. Just uh-huh. walked in. I saw the sign. It said Realtor. Um, anyway, uh, what were we going to oh, do? Oh, the chat room's just lighting up with people that bought homes with Bart and Crystal. I sold my uh, mom's well, home with Bart and Crystal. Is there, I bought yeah. my home with Bart and Crystal. Yeah, you bought my dead mom's house. Yep. Why is that? 
The, uh, see how she rolls with it's a it? Bad see, now, did you though. see the I yes hand? Do you see the yes hand there? And she doesn't get stuck in the mud like you do. Is any is there anybody on our Twitch chat room right now that's not a BDM? That would be weird. No, oh, I'm sure there are. They are? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I guess because Twitch is free, dude. And sometimes we got some Twitch viewers that kind of wandered over. But by now, like it's the you know, it's the standard uh, 144 or whatever it is. The oh, now they're put. Oh, uh, that was Sam. I was like, Sam's asking. I was like, some they're getting mad in there now. They're gonna revolt on each other. Just Bring leave them alone. Them <laughs> we take all comers, man. I don't uh, care. Yeah, you know, uh, listen. If you <laughs> you don't right? to, I thought you were lifting a boulder. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, I do not like these. We do so much free content. It's like, uh, it's like come on, throw us a couple pennies here. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they, it will be between the ACT shows, the Friday Free Show. It's uh, too much. You know, it's too much. I, I told you this. I can understand if you. I like, don't even well, know why we do BDM shows. Well, you know, screw this. I'm, I don't need to become a BDM because you guys give us too many, you know, shows anyway. So I'm not. I don't care if you, you decide not to be a BDM. I uh, do. I care. Um, Samantha cares. Yeah, she draws and a I line, care. man. I mean, I she's care. a producer, and she runs this place. You Something know. tells me uh, for the past three days that you do care as well, Tom. Mm. But. Uh, well, well, he's been screaming. We'll talk the about that on the well, BDM show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> what can we do? We can't. <laughs> we do gotta nothing. do something. Yeah, yeah, I'm too soft. I can't put on roofs. We're rocketing towards yeah. a the sun. I yeah. feel like. Yeah, yeah. And I've saw No longer coming in for a landing. No, no, no. What happened to coming <laughs> in for a landing? Instead of to the moon, we're going to the sun. The landing yeah. sounded pretty good. It did. Um, do you want to do voicemail messages before we yeah. lose our app? Uh, by the way, I've uh, my plan B is me and Daniel going full gay on OnlyFans. <laughs> 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 and he'll do it. I I'll know. just do it with my husband then. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. that's yeah. what we're doing. Well, yeah, Wait a minute. Well, I want to do it with Sam's husband. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Well, he can be involved. But me and you have to be well, he involved. He can film. He can film oh, us. Okay, all right. And it's not, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to have sex he gets crazy we're just gonna be nude and hold each other okay yeah and yeah. you guys made that weird or Spoon fest. whatever you guys email us and yeah. we'll do for money yeah. <laughs> like, we'll do like, anything for in fact i'll come email to, us. okay here's what i would say here's, <laughs> what I would only say. Fans? here's what i would say you could reach out to me on only fans and tell me to come to your house and for money i would have sex with you <laughs> all right that's good i like that business. yeah write, write that, that down. down butler write that down on the whiteboard i think that's better we'll than... have sex with you for money yes on the internet <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah yeah. but we won't tell anybody especially Wait, the is police it cyber well you no, 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 in it's re- person in person yeah it's unprotected sex okay. with strangers Butler, get a Zell account. Or <laughs> yeah, Zell. get a Zell. Zell, or Zell. No, Zell is a human. Yeah. Zell is a money. Okay, guy. yeah, yeah. Get that out. Get yeah. crypto and get the Doge. <laughs> yeah. Buy Doge. Buy Doge. Hold Buy on. Doge low when you sell. Uh, what's the other to one? To the moon. What's the other one? Ethereum. Oh yeah, yeah. Ethereum. Don't buy that. Too Don't expensive. buy Ethereum's too. That's a legit one. You got to buy the Doge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double Doge. All right. So Doge and Double sec- Doge bus coming down the street. Doge and sex for money. De- yeah. <laughs> Deal. Wait a minute. Sex for Doge. <laughs> oh, baby, better. Oh, you're a genius. I am Why aren't you the business I department? I am a genius. I'll be the uh, TV guy. Welcome back to Sex for Doge. <laughs> I'm Doge. <laughs> I'm Little Doge. <laughs> right. Let's try this one. Hey, so uh, just listen to the, like, you guys talk about TikTok and stuff and how short the videos are. But uh, TikTok wasn't the first thing like this. I don't know if you guys remember Vine. It was like six second videos. It was the exact same thing a long same time company, ago. Right? Nothing bad really happened. I don't think so. It's just. Uh, isn't. I, I think Vine got killed, and then I think that Musically is now TikTok, right? Well, TikTok was. It was a Chinese company, right? And then that's what the whole problem was. And then they like they made them sell their United States interests uh, to yeah. another company. Okay, so Vine got bought by Twitter. TikTok is a Chinese company, and TikTok bought Musically. Uh, yes. Oh, Musically, right, right, right. Um, that's the one. Like they they were going for the, more of an emphasis of you like d- lip syncing or doing like classic movie dialogue. Which I see a lot of on TikTok as well. Yeah, it's you know it's cool. I think it's like uh, a meme or um, or a viral video where these you know new platforms, social media platforms. The reason why they're successful is a little bit of a happenstance mystery, right? Like you cannot set out, and you can a little bit, and with all the formula we know of, make a viral video, yeah, uh, or have a better chance. But there's no guarantee. No one can say it's ever changing. I feel like I don't think like. Anybody can say, I will definitely make a viral video. This one will be it, right? Like, no, I don't be, think you can do that. There's a percentage no. chance. Now, you could put in all the different... 
things that other viral videos have and the hashtags and everything to give you the best chance. Yeah. But I, it's always a, a chance. Yes. Right? Correct. So then the reason why Vine is not as popular as TikTok, I think, is there's a lot of happenstance. Also, other social media companies buy up companies. Well, they just and added then, features. Like Instagram has reels now, right? Well, that's and stories. Yeah. I don't even know what they all are. Reels or movies? Well, then they steal from each other. But yeah. Like Instagram basically stole stole what Snapchat, Snapchat yeah. was doing. Why do we need? Like I liked it better when we just had like give me a picture, give me a movie. Now it's give me a picture, give me a movie, give me a picture that has gifs on it. Then add music. You're you're taking your photo now. Like you gotta add you gotta add Bruno Mars and Anderson Pax. Leave the door open over it. Pick the words you want. Scroll those down. Throw a filter on it. It's very technical. It's uh, it's interesting too because like all these companies are billion dollar companies and they're all just stealing from each other. They're like, oh, this company's uh, this is the new thing. Let's do it ourselves. So they all do that, even though if it's not even good for them. Like I, a lot of companies do that. Though, no, I know you know? that's what big companies do. They just they freak out and they're like, they're doing it. Let's do it. Like uh, you yeah, know, like, like reels. podcasting. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> everything. We, but that's it makes, what I'm saying. Every yeah. company does. This. That reminds <laughs> me. I got to listen to the Trader Joe's podcast again. Yeah. I that's, love that. Is thing. it good? No, I've they, never listened to it, but they have one. Yeah, yeah. They don't need one though, for sure. I'll, and that will fade too. Like they'll start looking at their budget and be like, why the hell oh, <laughs> are we paying for this podcast? To us now, he's no, got a coconut hat on. He's got. <laughs> and I'm Trader Joe podcaster. It uh, it'll definitely shift, and then they'll just realize like this is a waste of our money. No one's listening. Who cares? Trader Joe's got uh, rid of all their uh, racist uh, food items, right? I didn't know they had any. I've never been inside of a Trader. Yeah, Joe's. they had all the ones. That it was like um, like the Asian food would be like Trader, and then it would be like you know Trailer Chan's. Or something. It was something like that. Trader Chan. Yeah, it was like they what? changed the name, and it was like su- sort of racist. Uh, uh, like uh, based on the food. Oh, okay. Well, oh, yeah, they had Trader Jose. Trader Jose. For, okay. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. And then they, they started getting canceled for, for what? That. The beans for yeah, a beer. Exactly. Yeah. For yeah. For, yeah, for like <laughs> for uh, like their version of Corona. Yeah. Or if you had like a taco or so, you know, they put that in a uh, stamp. Put that Trader Jose brand on there. Nobody was really offended by that, right? That's just, Trader Mings. They're just Trader Mings. That's what it was. Not when they looked at the price, they weren't offended by it because they're like, "This is cheap and awesome." They're just nitpicking, but isn't, probably isn't I don't know. Trader Joe's expensive. No, that's what I always thought, no. but I've never been inside of one. No, it's cheap. Because that's where you get the, what is it, two buck chuck? I feel it's, like always like the bougie people go to Trader Joe's, so I just yeah. assumed it was rich. <laughs> I think, okay. hold on, I think expensive it's... Expensive pricing, but look, Publix is expensive to me, too. Oh, so. Publix is expensive. Don't don't get that twisted. Publix is expensive. I think Trader Joe's is cheaper than Publix, and then Aldi is cheaper than all of them, right? Aldi? Is it Aldi? Yeah, Aldi. I said Aldi. I feel like, though, Trader Joe's is secretly more expensive than Publix, but wants to brand themselves as, like, the discount. Hey, we're the average Trader but, Joe's. But I... I know, like, everybody that goes to Trader Do- Joe's that I know has Trader money. Trader Dojo's? Like, is that Juan owns that? Like, <laughs> not one person I've ever heard of went to Trader Joe's for the the price. You see what I'm saying? They go there uh, because they like the product. Yeah, I'd agree with yeah. that. Yeah, like, I'd agree with that. Like, if you were worried about price, you go to Aldi or whatever the hell. You Aldi. Know, like, uh, we're saying it wrong. You go to the uh, Walmart uh, Super Center. I like going to Neighborhood store. Market, I man. like Neighborhood Market. My wife tells me I'm trash. What's the what's neighborhood market? Walmart. It's their grocery. Oh, only. Yeah, yeah. I no, like it's it. Trash. My it's wife says trash. I'm trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My business partner yeah, says yeah. I'm trash. Everyone I know except for Sam calls me trash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to know. Well, I go yeah. there. So. Well, I mean, they, you <laughs> know, <laughs> pushed me down before we started recording. Yeah, you know, and everybody knows. He only goes to Whole Foods, right? Butler. Butler. He don't he go to Whole Foods. He gets all them. of his stuff delivered. I bet. And his wife is nitpicking crazy. Oh yeah, isn't he getting like Thrive meals? And he's been sad lately because he's convinced he's fat, which he is not. It's because you guys made fun of his B cups. I okay. Tom started it. I can't stop once they once they I pop. I can't stop yeah. once I pop the bees. He, I noticed he make it. He's like, I'm, uh, I'm overweight now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nobody likes a fat butler. He's, he's just starving yeah. himself. He yeah. says yeah. he no longer will wear a fanny pack. Butler, you get guys in here. Scarred him for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butler, can you get in here? Or are you too sad? Is this too real? He, he's super. But <laughs> Butler's you're super not vain. fat. You're an insane person if you yeah, think you're fat. You're yeah. crazy. <laughs> but we got him. We got into but it. They, but he's I'm super. Double this down. is emotional abuse. That's what I want. It's a hostile work environment because we figured out that we could do it to men for. A while, yeah, for a little yeah. while, and then that'll be cut off soon. But uh, <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Um, so Butler, how yes, fat sir. are you? Oh my god, <laughs> that's what you brought him in here for. He's not fat. Mm. I'm a little fat. No, 
I know you are. It's going to be anorexic now. I know you are. Was it? Now, was it? Okay, because Tom is the one that started it, and we had a conversation in the middle of the night where it was like 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and we're all uh, having a fun uh, text dust up, if you will. And mm-hmm. Tom never goes into our group chat. Yeah, but, but pulling this, Butler, but this time he did. He peeked his head in and he made a comment about you having boobs like Mike B. Mm. And, well, said, you know, and he said you, that you had gone to bed early because you were carrying around your B cups all day. And it made you <laughs> tired. That's uh, good though. That's good. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then I photoshopped. Drunkenly, the picture from the Land Cruise where you were enjoying yourself of mm. you in a bird eye shopping for Big Mama Pros. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And then, and then, then Sam, Sam jumped on yeah, there. And she, and she did chime in. She, she was like, emoji. stop. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> yeah. you did. You, you mommed no, us. No, but she said she it. Mommed I said me. it in like a stop. Yeah, yeah laugh. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, mommed yeah. me. She yeah. said it in a laugh. Wait, like, yeah. ah, <laughs> were you saying that like, yes, Queen? Yeah, exactly. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then I nailed it. No, I took it like, and Joe Butler has more bullying with you. On. Well, and I then think I said he was an old man was that was that, asleep by eight o'clock. Was that the one that that? <laughs> it was the bras. Wasn't was it, it the bras? The Photoshop? Because uh, I didn't touch the picture. Only I just put your uh, PNG file on top of a a bra picture. Do you tell your doctor wife that you get bullied at work? And uh, well, funny enough, we were laying in bed, and I was like, that that popped up, and she was, oh. like, she was like, "What's that?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's it's a like, picture of bras. I was like, yeah, I was, uh, was just Tom making fun of me. And, and, uh, <laughs> I didn't even give Dan the credit. He's a good one. You and, should so. call Mo and sue them. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they Dan, Dan made me. Dan photoshopped yeah. me uh, shopping for bras. Your yeah. bosses cannot. <laughs> this is harassment. <laughs> your bosses cannot make fun of you, uh, your peck. Your pectorals. Your pectorals. Yeah, she's like doctor. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> they, how dare they, yeah, they mock the 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 size of your engorged areolas? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a mama chimpanzee ready for. Uh, yeah, yeah. She, she like, just chuckled and kept on doctoring. Oh. <laughs> like, Screenshot that for uh, the court case. Put that in the file. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, she just discounts you like, ah, whatever. I have, like, I have real yeah, business yeah. to do. <laughs> 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 I'm, like, I'm, I'm building. She's like, I'm my own boss. <laughs> she's, just her she's designing her new practice. <laughs> <laughs> she's got schematics like, out. I think uh, one piece of equipment she had, that freeze machine, is more, more yeah, than her company. Every time you bring that up, you just want to like freeze ants, <laughs> uh, <laughs> freeze food <laughs> objects. He wants to do weird Weird, like <laughs> chopper style things. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Um, you're not fat though. I just want what re- want the record to reflect. So how are you going to lose weight? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? do? No, oh, I got that Peloton now, man. Oh yeah, yeah the Peloton. He's on the Peloton. Yeah, yeah. How do they? Uh, how old that Johnny. Work? I saw uh, old CrossFit Johnny's buying a Peloton. Oh, one yeah? of our buddies. Yeah, I saw him on it, drop it in the BDM group. Um, you, uh, you pedal the boobs off? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Pedaling the boobs off. <laughs> okay. Uh, the only problem with, that I've had trying to pedal the boobs, uh, <laughs> pedal my boobs off, is that I just get a little bit sore from the dildo on the seat. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, uh, uh, let's do a voicemail. Here's you guys some... are mean in the Twitch chat. <laughs> what do they say? Oh, they're mean they said they the camera adds a cup. Oh, oh, yeah, all yeah, that yeah, estrogen yeah, he yeah, was yeah. rubbing in his skin. <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah. oh, it's a pussy towel. Oh, oh, he, 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 yeah. he did it. He did it. He did it. He got you good. Yeah, yeah. Now, I didn't even do anything. I'll give you a pass. Normally, yell that why'd you curse on ACT? Uh, oh, but there you go. There's your time. You know, I'm sorry. That, uh, you know, I can't. Uh, can't get a, too mad. Yeah, he was a distressed man. Yeah, right. You, you egg me on, man. Um, all right, let's uh, let's do a voice. Okay, one, so. I've got uh, I've got this one ready to go. This is from Nurse Clark. Hey gang, uh, Nurse Clark here. I was just calling in. I apologize for the, uh, if, if it's a little loud background noise. I am currently on a road trip, uh, and I was listening to the podcast, and I figured I would go ahead and call in um, regarding the vaccine, the COVID vaccine. Do you guys want to do this? Yeah, yeah. You you say, like, don't go. Do <laughs> yeah, yeah, want to put it? the robots. Yeah, he, yeah, he might be uh, straight up Rogan. So. You don't worry about it. <laughs> and then everybody starts freaking out. Uh, no, no. This, right. uh, this is uh, mm-hmm. Nurse Clark. We're, uh, we're running it live. Um, Seth was on talking about getting the vaccine, and just made me think that you know probably be good to give the listeners an idea of what the vaccine actually is, because a lot of people are scared about it. Um, I. I was a COVID nurse, worked on a COVID unit for roughly 10, 10 and a half months of Thank you. this last year. Thank you for doing that. Um, so I've seen just about everything with it. Um, so the vaccine is uh, the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines are very good vaccines. 
And to give you an idea of what you're actually looking at when you get the vaccine, um, basically, unlike the flu vaccine, you do not get injected with an inactive version of the virus. You are injected with an RNA of a protein that is found on the outside of the virus. Okay. Well, I think that yeah. clears it all up. Well, I what, got it. What Nurse Clark is going to explain is easily. Yes, I love it when you go to nurse mode. No, no, no. But it's easily found on the internet. Like yeah. you could, you could read as much information all day long about all the studies and everything exactly how it works. It's on the internet. It's easily, you don't need to hear it from our show. But what Nurse Clark and what I found uh, that to be interesting. And also, it kind of ties into you can't fight uh, irrationality with rationality. Is a lot of this, and, and believe me, we've all seen it. And the, mm-hmm. you know, this is the last we'll talk about vaccines and anything because yes. we're a comedy show. But from what I've seen, is that the people from have what I've vaccine, or just from friends and family, <laughs> and 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 oh, yeah. and then like uh, from my own life, is there people that are afraid of getting the vaccine? Oh, sure. And I so, know a lot of people that don't even like getting a shot. That's as far as it goes. Yeah, there's you a lot of people I mean? afraid of needles in general. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, doesn't no, course, go, yeah. it doesn't even have to get the vaccine. Or, it could just be needles. Maybe it's not afraid. They're just suspicious or like they're cautious. Are cautious yeah. or yes. I don't want to get this or not enough studies, whatever it is. Yep. So, but what doesn't help and seemingly, and this is a, happens in my life too, is like now that fear is real to them. Just like Daniel's fear of flying, Seth's fear of getting cancer, mm-hmm. whatever you want uh, d- to be afraid of that is probably unlikely, right? Like oh, statistically yeah. unlikely. If you're afraid of getting in a car accident, I'll be like, yeah, you probably should be, yeah, take dangerous. precautions. Yeah. Yeah. Or, me, right. or me on my scooter. Or, That's the one that doesn't make or, any sense. Like or, motorcycles or, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you're afraid of getting heart disease yeah. in your late uh, 50s because you haven't uh, led, led a healthy life, mm-hmm. then I'll be like, yes, you should be afraid yeah, yeah. of it. <laughs> oh, how overweight that are you? Is, oh. That is probably going to happen. Oh, and, you, and you're 200 pounds <laughs> yeah, overweight. Yeah, yeah. That's, gonna, that's, that's a good bet. genetics or whatever. 50, 50. <laughs> you, know, like, you probably have less of a chance. But uh, anyway, what I'm saying is that... Um, uh, the people that are cautious about getting the vaccine, it has nothing to do with learning how it works or having doctors or scientists saying it's safe to them. That's, because Some of it is. The what? Some of it is that because they did. I mean, it was the fastest a vaccine has come out. So, yeah, I understand that some people don't know how it works, yeah. don't know what's in it. So there is there is a little bit of that. It is, but it's they're not going to ha- listen to a doctor or scientist say that, hey, this is safe. Uh, so what you're saying all is, is that no matter how many times you and Sam and Butler tell me that airplanes are safer than cars, I right. will always have a fear of flying yes. because that's right. who I am. And also, there's yeah. a, I believe that. It goes back to irrational fear. Yeah. And maybe there's a... Ra- listen, there's a... Ra- Rational part of being afraid of flying. Flying yeah. people die. Yeah. And yeah, part, yeah. There's a rational Same part. With the vaccine. Sure, I get there's it. a rational part about being afraid of not, getting. It's not like our government hasn't uh, yeah. injected people with bad things before. Th- there's a, a ra- so there's a reason why people could be afraid. There's there's a rational part about a, a lot of irrational fears, but the reason it's irrational. At least to me, is that uh, with a lot of these things being dying in a plane crash, getting a rare cancer, getting affected down the like 20 years from now from a vaccine you're taking, winning American Idol, all mathematically unlikely, statistically unlikely to the point where. You're like, all right, I'll I'll do this instead of this or whatever. But regardless, what I'm telling you, the whole point of this, not nothing about the vaccine. You're not going to fight irrational fear with rationality. It doesn't work. So you got to so waste your time you, yelling at people and yes. getting mad. Yeah, don't you got to let people work it out themselves. And worry about I think yourself. That's the best piece of advice you have ever given yeah. on our show before. Because that you is, that is lovely. Because you yelling about how no. they shouldn't be afraid of it. You should get it. Blah blah blah. They're not gonna not gonna convince them. Yeah. By the way, try to convince them about politics or anything they believe in. Anyway, <laughs> well, guess I was what? Say the politics thing. We've been through that. Have it's you ever the same. have you ever argued with anybody on the internet about anything where they actually said, you know what, you changed my mind. Thank you. Like that doesn't happen. Why are you yelling? Stop yelling at everybody. That's mm-hmm. all I'll say. You're because yelling at us. It's not helping anything. I know. <laughs> um, and you're not, thank you, uh, Nurse Clark, for you, calling in. You're not going to convince anybody uh, because the, uh, people's minds are said. Yeah, yeah. If you're afraid, you're afraid. 